Hi, everybody. This is GM John Fedorovich from Upper West Side, New York City. And uh, welcome to ICC's February 2018 Simul Master Simul. We'll be getting started shortly. Uh, last last week uh, month, I uh, played the black pieces. It was a fun Simul. Uh, I think I did pretty well. A couple of losses, not too bad. And, uh, and we'll see how that goes. And... Um, also, I played in the amateur team with some of my students last week. That's in Parsippany, New Jersey. That's on President's Weekend in the United States. And uh, and I did okay. I got four out of five. I don't know. I didn't, you know, I mean, it's it's more fun for the kids. I played in that team tournament probably about 30 times. And uh, I was on a team with, uh, with uh, um, like, a 10-year-old and a 7-year-old and a 6-year-old. And, and uh, we did pretty well. We got three out of five. And, um, we didn't play the, we didn't play the last round because one of the kids, uh, my student, Daniel, uh, played, played really, um, played a five hour 90 move game and won an ending, uh, where he was down the exchange, a very difficult ending. So pretty interesting and uh, a lot of fun for the kids. Um, so, uh, Chris P says, thank you very much for the simul. And he's enjoyed my commentary over the years, especially with Yasser. Yeah. I always had um, a lot of fun um, doing doing the simuls with uh, doing the uh, commentary with Yasser. I mean, we've known each other a long time. We played many times, and uh, and Yasser's a good guy, and I hope he's doing well over there in Amsterdam with uh, with Yvette. So I'm going to do something I've never done. I'm going to play E4 every game, and uh, and see how it goes. Sometimes in a simul, that's not a good thing to do because E4 leads to such complicated positions but uh, we'll, we'll 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 see how how it goes all right uh so we got i think some uh new players sergerich seems like i don't think we played from canada uh henrik olsen sicilian defense virtuoso looks like a, a well it's going to be another sicilian indiana fats another sicilian uh alakine's defense from christos p uh, Zebile, another Alkine's defense, and Hippopotamus, let's see what we're heading for here, but a lot of Sicilians, as you would think, Stendhal, very highly rated, 2300, uh, Jay Russell, a, uh, a, a usual opponent, uh, Alahote, and a handshake, good luck to you too, thanks for playing, and Ears, E4, C6, and I will go D4. We'll see whether it's a Carol Can or whether Ears whips out some Duncan Suttles kind of thing. And for those of you, I, maybe people don't know who Duncan Suttles is, uh, a famous Canadian GM uh, who played what you could say is sort of offbeat kind of stuff. Uh, openings that they, they uh, name themselves also with, the, with uh, Canadian IM Lawrence Day. Played openings called the rat, the hippopotamus, all kinds of weird animals, and uh, and uh, usually it comes from like a modern defense e4 g6 sort of move order. I suppose it could come from e4 c6 also. Um, another thing we got to talk about is the candidates are coming up in about two weeks, and that should be good. I'm going to root for the Americans, of course, but I think if we're rooting for a good match. Uh, maybe we should root for Kramnik or Aronian. And, uh, and I think that their styles are very nice. And I think, I think that they would, uh, give, give a hard time to, um, to Magnus Carlsen. I think that could, those, you know, at this point we're rooting for good matches. It seems like Magnus is just a really, uh, um, unbelievable player and is just Keeps, uh, you know, holding his title pretty easily. So let's see what's going on here against Sergerich. So the candidates is something for us to look forward to in a few weeks, and we'll see how that goes. So uh, early going here with the openings, everybody's getting their pieces out. Lots of nice Sicilians. Um, I think all the openings seem pretty normal so far. Maybe one sort of offbeat Alakine. Ears is playing the Caro Can. Very good. I'm very happy Ears went for the Caro Can. Instead of for the uh, one of those crazy Canadian things. No offense to the Canadians. And I'm really sorry that the Canadian hockey team lost. Actually, I'm not. 
I love Canada, and we're going there for the Quebec Open, uh, actually the Canadian Open in Quebec City. I always like playing Canada, but as an American, I cannot root for their hockey team. Sorry. So anyway, uh, let's let's get back to the chess, and uh, and we're, we're doing, um, let's see, we have an accelerated dragon from Indiana Fats. Uh, Sergrich, uh, uh, the Bishop F5, Caro Can. Speaking of Yasser Sarawan, that, that was Yasser Sarawan's, uh, one of his favorite lines. And John Tisdall, uh, GM John Tisdall from Norway and uh, Syracuse, New Jer uh, Syracuse, New York, used to joke that Yasser would just play that opening his, and he would win his opponent's H5 pawn and then he would win the game. All right, Alhote has played Queen B6, and I play this line myself. And I have to say, it's kind of a hard line to, to play. Uh, Jay Russell, we're in a uh, center counter or Scandinavian, as they call it. Zebile, we'll, we're going to get, we're in an all kinds defense. I think I'm going to give the four pawns uh, opening a shot. Virtuoso's uh, playing a um, uh, timing off, and Stenhall has gone for the dragon. And Christos P is kind of mixing systems. I don't know. Um, I guess in such a thing, I just hold the center and develop and should come out okay for white there. Uh, Mr. Neal and e, uh, Rui Lopez and Eternal Warrior. We have an E4, B6, D4, Bishop, B7. Black has to be careful when, when giving control of the center to the opponent like in that opening. Uh, E5 from Comrade of Sal Salazar, and uh, so we're in a Knight Orf and Knight B3, and Indiana Fats, Accelerated Dragon, uh, another Ul Uldrich Holson, uh, another um, Knight Orf with uh, E5, and I play Knight B3, and E6 from Al Hote, and, and I will go Knight to uh, C3, and again, Sergrich, that's the H4 and the Carol Can happens. That's for the pawn structure later on in the game. Uh, J. Russell, bishop g4, I go h3. Knight takes d4 against d. Vios. Stenhall, we're in, we're, I'm playing the Yugoslav attack against the dragon. And let's see what to do here against Christos P. Normal kind of development. At some point, he'll hit me in the center with d6 or, or, or d5, and I have to be ready for that. So uh, I'm wondering... Um, What's the best way for me to develop here? Probably Bishop E2, get ready uh, to protect my center. Uh, I'm going to try against Virtuoso, E5 against the time and off. I always thought when I was playing the time and off that Queen C7 on move four was better than was better than A6 because of this kind of move, E5. Uh, Zebile, um, Al, another Alkine's defense. Uh, Kanishka, another Karo Kan. And I'm going to try something else against him. And let's see what's going on in these night offs. Uh, Bishop G5 against Conrado. Uh, I don't do exchange variation in the uh, Rui Lopez anymore. I go Bishop to A4. Uh, Henrik Olsen, Bishop E6. He played, it's supposed to be inaccurate because of F4. Let's see if that's true. Let's see how that goes. Uh, El Hote has gone A6. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to try some Bishop F4 against him and see if I can try some. Because I think El Hote's move order seems a little suspicious to me. So we'll, we'll see what the deal is with that. Okay, um, Hippopotamus has gone castles. And uh, and I guess I go rookie one there. Uh, moving Dutchman looks like looks like we can, um, we're going to have a Philidor. Um, E4, D6, D4, Knight of 6, Knight C3, E5, Knight of 3, I'll play. Brian Wood, another Sicilian. This one is the with the classical four knights. DV Oss, we're in a can. And Stenhall back to the dragon. And what to do against Kanishka? I think I'm going to try the exchange variation against the Carol can. Mix it up a little bit. Indiana Fats has gone Knight of 6 in the accelerated dragon. I'm going to try a line that I've talked to my kids, see how it goes. Now, J. Russell has gone bishop to f5, but isn't it strange to pin me and when I go h3 to go bishop f5, because if J. Russell was going to do bishop f5, maybe he should have just done it right away, so I'm going to play knight e5. I think that gets me into the position that I want. Pearl Hacker's gone c6. He's in a center counter, but he did queen e5 check, 
So he's getting his queen chased around all over the place. En passant against Virtuoso. Uh, counseling against Mr. Meal. Uh, Bishop D3 against Sergrich. Knight G4 against Hippopotamus. And I guess I must... Well, I have to be a little careful here. I'm thinking about trying D4, actually. But I have to be careful of tricks involving Queen H4. So I'm going to try D4 and see see how that goes there. Pawn takes pawn from Eternal Warrior. Of course, I take with the pawn, keeping my center. I'm going to try castles, nine castles against Stenhall and see what he does about that. Uh, Henry Golson has gone Bishop E7. And now the question is, should I go F5 here and, and, uh, and chase his bishop somewhere? Okay, Knight F6 against Kinesia. I'm going to go C3. And Brian Wood has gone, has transposed into classical Shevenigan. I will just go bishop to e3. And let's see how these things go here. Um, for, for the classical Shevenigan, uh, when, when I was decided on playing bishop e2 against the, uh, against the Nidorf type of stuff, um, I, 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 I studied a lot of Karpov and Geller games. I felt like they were the best guys for that opening. And, uh, and and especially uh, Karpov played those Bishop E2 things really very well. Okay, movement Dutchman, Knight BD7, Bishop C4, Bishop take, Knight takes D4, Bishop takes D4 from Stenhall. And now against Christos, he did D5. So now I have the choice of taking on uh, on, on D6 or or just uh, leaving it there or taking on D5. So what is... What's the, my best uh, thing to do here? I think I'm going to try to take on D6 and see if I could do something there. All right, pawn takes pawn from Hippopotamus, and I'm going to put in the in-between move H3. Bishop takes B3 from Henrik Olsen, and I'm going to go to A takes B3. And Indiana Fats, E5 is the line that, that I taught my students. And let's see how, how, how it goes. Okay, uh, e6 against uh, Sergerich. I'll go bishop to d2. Uh, Eternal Warrior has attacked my e pawn, and I will protect with bishop to d3, still maintaining my center. Ears has gone for a knight f6 line. Uh, which way will he recapture with these double pawns? I take on f6. He has choices. King b1 against Stendhal. And bishop g4 from Pearl Hacker, and I guess I shall go h3. And queen to d3 from against Conrad Salazar. That's in the night off. Uh, and Deviance, I guess I'll play bishop to d3. And that's in the can. And knight c6 from Henrik Olsen. And I'm going to go bishop to e3 just in case knight d4 was bothering me. And let's see what's going on here with Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus has played knight to e5. And that's a good move. All right, I'm going to try taking on d4 with my knight. And, and against Christos P, I'm going to chuck my bishop out to G5 and just to see what he's up to. Uh, J. Russell, I'm going to go queen F3 and trying to come out very fast, see if I can castle queenside. Brian Wood, I'm castling. So we're in the openings of all the games. Uh, let's see. Zebile, I have to be careful of the move orders here. I think on bishop F5, I go knight C3. And on and against Stenhall, I'm going to play a move that my friend GM Joel Benjamin has taught me. I'm going to play knight to d5 against Stenhall, and, and, and I always like that position. Years has captured with ef6, and I remember c3 is the right move. Uh, councils from Henrik Olsen. I'm going to counsel on the king side and just try and keep a grip on the position. Virtuoso has gone queen takes d6. And I'm going to trade the queens, and I'm going to play this ending with, with his pawns being broken. Okay, Christos P, where should I put my bishop now that he's gone F6? F6 seems like something very nice for me. So um, I think I'm just going to go bishop to F4 and and see about that. Bishop C5 from Alhote, a strange move. And uh, I'm very happy to take that bishop on C5. And I'm going to go for a win on the dark squares. Uh, bishop takes d4 from Hippopotamus. I'll just take back on d4 with the pawn, of course. And Brian Wood, uh, f4, f4 in the uh, classical Shivanigan. And I'm going to come out very fast with bishop f4 against j Russell and try to castle queenside. Uh, bishop g5 from Conrado. 
uh, Salazar. And what happens now if I go rook to d1? I'm wondering if I could snatch that, that pawn on, on d6 sometimes. What's he going to do about that? Okay, now the, the, the strange move... I saw this, in, at, I think it was a Canadian Open in uh, Toronto. I was sitting next to a game, and I saw White play bishop to d4, like I'm doing against Indiana Fats. And and it was really kind of weird, and, and I thought my first sight thought was, what the heck is this guy doing? And and then I realized that maybe it's not that bad, and I started to like it a little bit. So so I'm going to see what the story with is that. Okay, Zebwell was going e6, I believe bishop e3. His move order is a little weird, so I have to be careful about it. Um, against Virtuoso, knight e4 looks like a good move there. Just going for a better ending. b6, removing Dutchman. And let's see what's happening here. There's always this tempting business with uh, with uh, bishop takes f7, but it's it's unclear how, how that works out. Um, sometimes the knight on a8 doesn't get out, although here... Should I go bishop to d6 right away here and uh, and send his queen somewhere? Or I can maybe wait because he's not going to go d5. And I don't think e5 is going to be wonderful for him. So I'm going to go queen to d2 and see if I can get myself castled there. Okay, uh, knight c6 from Conrado Salazar. And what's the deal here about snatching this pawn for me? Um, it's a good question. Uh, I think that maybe maybe I'll, I'll go knight to d5. I, I'm never sure about snatching that pawn on d6 in this position because of dark square play. So I'm, I'm thinking of just going knight to d5 and seeing, can I maintain my knight there? Not sure. Also, I'm wondering if I should be going a3 or something like that. But it seems like somehow snatching the pawn is probably the right thing to do. Um there's other moves I could try. I don't know if H4 really does anything. He could probably take it. Um, he might be threatening knight to b4, so I'm, I'm going to try and snatch this pawn on d6 to see how that goes. G5 from Christos. Huh. I don't know. Now, he might be getting a little too worked up over here. Uh, I'm thinking, of, should I just go... Uh, Bishop back to e3, or do I want to keep an eye on the d6 pawn for any reason? Um, I'm thinking that he might be going f5 on the next move. All right, I'm going to just go bishop back to g3, and, and that might cause the game to get exciting. b5 from Henrik Olsen, and I think I'm just going to get out of the way with king to h1. Um, pro hacker's gone e6, solid move, normal. And, uh, and I'm going to see, I, I think I'm going to go knight e5 and trade those bishops. Uh, Rui, Rui Lopez from Mr. Neal, I'm going to go c3. And pawn takes d5 against Stenhall. And castle and queenside against Sergerich. And now let's see what to do against Jay Russell here. I think that castle and queenside seems right. Uh, pawn takes pawn against Zebile with the f pawn, of course. And Bishop F4 against Virtuoso. 
and a4 h5 and I'll as it just started and I'm going to go knight f3 another open Sicilian so when I was uh, uh, learning chess I realized that the open Sicilian is really the only thing to do now hippopotamus has gone a6 uh how do I get in? I think I should have some edge here but should I take on c6 and play the bishop opposite color position is that worth it better pawn structure um or do I just keep that bishop for something Hard to say, but I, I feel like I'm better in almost any case. Uh, wasn't sure if I go bishop a4, if b5 helps him develop a little bit. So I'm, I'm considering this bishop takes c6 and maybe something like e5 even. All right, I'm going to try to play for pawn structure there. Queen c2 against ears. Uh, traded uh, queens against Conrado Salazar. Bishop f4 against Kanisha. Exchange Caro Khan. And Henrik Olsen has sacrificed a pawn on d5. And uh, and I think that's the normal sort of procedure in this opening. I'm going to go pawn takes. Uh, Brian Wood's gone bishop to d7. And I always tell my students that when the bishop goes to d7, that's the right time for knight to b3. Uh, bishop to b4 from Eternal Warrior. And I'm going to castle and get out of the pen. Queen a5 from Indiana Fats. I go bishop to c4. Uh, Zebal, knight c6, I go knight f3, and DV Oz has gone bishop b7, and queen e2 seems right for me, and bishop to b4 from J. Russell, and what's happening here? Okay, I'm just going to go, I'm thinking of just going a3 to ask him what's going on with his bishop, and there's other ideas too that could be pretty good. All right, I'm going to go a3 and see what he wants to do with his bishop. We got... Conrado Salazar has gone king to e7, and I'm going to go rook all the way back to d1. Uh, rook e8 check, knight e2 against ears. All book stuff. Queen takes e2 against pearl hacker, and e5 against hippopotamus. Okay, knight f6 from virtuoso, and I will go knight to d6 check and pick up the bishop pair. And now, Alhote, what's going on here? Um, do I go bishop d6 now? Uh, castle and queen side may be very nice for me also soon. So I think I'm going to go bishop to d6 against Elote, and and that's, that may bother him. Okay, Henry Colson has gone e4, and, uh, and I'm just going to go knight takes e4, looks like. And rook f c8 from Stenhall, and I go rook to c1. Can't take on d5. H6 from Mr. Neal, unusual. And now I think I'm just going to go D4. That's the, my pet line. If you see my games, I have some nice wins. My famous game against Rashevsky with the incident. Bishop F5 from Christos. And now against Christos, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about going H4, but I think I'm just going to cancel Kingside. I'm not afraid there. Okay, we have Knight Knight to B4 from Canrod Salazar, and, um, and he's hitting my pawn on uh, c2 so i'm just going to cancel and give the pawn back uh bishop b7 rook d1 against moving dutchman uh tr working on some pins uh against ears i remember h4 is meant to be the right move there um d5 uh from hippopotamus so so that pawn structure deal looks pretty nice for me i'm gonna go b3 uh, Bishop e2 against Zebon. So a lot of mainline type of openings today. Queen e2 from um, uh, Bishop e7 from H Pearl Hacker. And I feel like I should come out fast with Bishop to f4. Knight takes c2 from Conrado Salazar. And now here's the question. Is knight d5 giving me anything at all? Or what's the story there? He'll take that. And also I'm looking at knight to Knight to c5. He can maybe use the d4 square sometimes in these games. All right, I'm going to try knight d5 check against Conrado and see how that goes. Uh, Brian Wood has gone a6, and I will go a4 and stop b5. Uh, DV Oz has gone knight c6. I think I take that. Bishop takes c3. J. Russell. Oh, J. Russell, I'm sorry. You did not pay attention. In between move for me. Knight d6 check, winning the queen. Uh, let's see, Ears has gone c5, and now um, do I continue with my h5, or do I slow down? I'm going to continue with my h5, 
And now, what's the deal here with Virtuoso? He's gone king to F8. I thought he had to take on D6. Okay, I'm going to take on C8 and see if I can snatch A6. Nothing like a uh, nothing like having a nice uh, pawn coming down there. So that looks good. Okay, now Hippopotamus. Oh boy, I, I, it's it's it, it might be my lucky day here. Hippopotamus. I don't think he paid attention. He hit up the center. What does he do about E6? That pawn's marching in. Salazar has offered a trade of queens on D4. And and I think even with the queens off, he should still have some dark square problems. And I think, uh, I think do I want to castle and, and then uh, castle first or trade queens and then castle? It's a good question. I think I'm going to trade queens and then I'm going to castle. Bishop D6 from Pearl Hacker. And I'm going to go knight E4 and cause some trouble with that bishop on D6. Okay, uh, Council and Gonzebile, that's in the four pawns attack. Mr. Neal's gone Bishop G4, I'll go D5. Bishop takes D5, Rook takes D5 against Conrado Salazar. Moving Dutchman has unpinned with Queen to C8. And now let's see what the story is here. Um, how should I proceed here? I'm thinking about, I, I sometimes I take on D5, but I'm looking at knight g5 doesn't really do anything. So should I go a4 and stop stuff? Not really sure what to do. Do I have any any big action moves here? Uh, no knight g5, so it's a case of whether to play positionally or not. Uh, I, I think I'm going to try pawn to a4, see what happens over there. Uh, we had Christos P has castled king's side. And I think I'm going to try d5 on him. And Virtuoso has challenged me, and I'm not sure what that was about. Christos P, I'm going to try D5, get some squares. Queen B6 from Kanishka, I'm going to just face his queen or her queen with Queen B3. F5 from Ears, and I'm going to trade on G6. Knight takes D4 against A4, H5. Knight takes D4, El Hote, I castle queenside. And then I'm going to stick that bishop on, that bishop on D6 may affect his development a little bit. F6 from Zebbile, I take it. Uh, let's see what's happened here with Stenhall. Stenhall has gone rook to b8, and he wants to go b5, but there's always a business of whether I can snatch a pawn on the queen side and, and, just, and just try to do something. So I'm going to see what's going on with that. Can I go... I'm, can I go... I'm going to try g4 against Stenhall and see how that one goes. All right. Hippopotamus, to avoid losing his rook with e7, has lost his knight instead. So I think I just take that take that pawn there. Bishop takes e5 from Indiana Fats. That's what this pawn sack is about. I'm going to castle. Uh, Sergerich Sir, uh, is going queen c7. And I'll go queen e2. Uh, Bishop f6 from Conrado Salazar. And now, what do I do here? I'm thinking of just doubling the rooks. Let's let's double the rooks and see if we can get in there on d7 and cause some trouble. Uh, a5 for moving Dutchman, and uh, and 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 now I'm always looking to see if knight h4 does something. So I'm going to try knight h4 against moving Dutchman. See how that goes. Dvs has gone. Bishop takes c6, and now. He has got to be careful for me. If I ever drop in with knight to d5, does it do something? Uh, I'm going to go a4 first and then see if knight d5 does something after that. Brian Wood has allowed me to paralyze his king side with a5. I'm not sure if he should have allowed that kind of situation. Okay, Ears has gone h takes g6. And now the only thing with Ears' position is if my queen could get in there somehow. Uh, he would have serious trouble. So what's, what's, how should I play this now? Um, he is coming out fast though. So I have to see, do I want to go, do I want to go D five here? And, and if he comes up with knight to D seven, he's coming out pretty fast. I don't know whether I should go F four or uh, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, knight C six is coming out fast for him. So, and Bishop E3, he can meet that with F4, maybe, because of the pin. So, I'm going to try pawn to D5 against Ears and see how it goes. Uh, Queen D2 um, against Zebwell seems right. Overprotection. Pawn takes E5 from Hippopotamus. 
And now let's see what to do here. Um, I'm thinking of just maybe developing with bishop to a3. Rook takes, rook takes e5. I really want to do, um, and I'm just making sure that there's no big attack on uh, on f2. So I'm going to go rook takes e5 against hippopotamus, and that looks very nice for me. Okay, now what do I do against Christos? Christos is uh, it's it's a very awkward looking Benoni type of position where maybe he's got some holes in his position. So. Uh, knight d2 would feel like the Benoni type of thing to do. Bishop d3 may be pretty decent idea too. So I think I'm just going to go knight d2 and play it like I would have in a Benoni structure. Okay, Conrado Salazar, rook h d8. Uh, if I trade off all the rooks, do I have any chance to win or will, will it just be a dead draw? That's a good question. I'm going to try to trade off all the rooks. We've got Eternal Warrior has castled. And, uh, and I'm wondering whether I should go A3 there or not, or just go rookie one and protect the pawn. I'm going to try rookie one and protect the pawn. All right, now we have to see how Al Hote intends to develop here. Um, will he ever do a B5? And if so, does that do anything? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go F4 against Al Hote, take up some space on the other on the, on the king's side. Um, Kanishka has traded Queens on B3 in the, um, exchange Caro can and Bishop F8 for Pearl Hacker. And, uh, and what's going on here with, do I have night discoveries? Nice, very nice discoveries on his queen here. What's the deal with just knight to G6? What will he do on that? So I'm going to do knight G6 against Pearl Hacker. That looks pretty nice. G5 against Stendhal just in time. Knight d5 against DV Oss. Uh, and now against Hippopotamus, he did go queen f6. And now I'm looking to see, can I just go, um, maybe f4 is a good move for me. Queen d5 is a good move for me. Uh, sorry, not queen d5, but queen d4. I'm going to try queen to d4, just protect my rook and the f2 pawn and try and come out fast. Uh, Conrado, we've traded off all the rooks. Knight f6 against Indiana Fats. And, uh, and I will go rook to e1. So this is a crucial position here. And Brian Wood has gone queen c7. And do I want to go bishop c7 yet? Do I need to? Uh, I, I guess I'm going to go bishop c7, put his queen on, uh, on, on b8, and then see how that goes. Now, how do I bother Conrado Salazar here? I'm looking at knight to c5. I'm looking at bishop to c4. Um... I'm going to go bishop to c4 and, and, and attack that f pawn. Uh, castles, king sides from Al Hote, and I'm just going to go g3 and develop myself. Okay, Christos has gone bishop to g6. And now, I guess, is his idea on 94 to go f5. So I think that I'm going to go f4 and beat him to the punch there. Bishop takes d5 against dv Oss. Pawn takes d5. I like my position there. Kanishka has gone a6, and I'm going to try just b4, b5, see if anything happens. Uh-oh, Hippopotamus has gone c5. So what's going on with this? And on c5, um, there's all kinds of moves here for me. I don't know, um, uh, did he just win his piece back? But if I, drop the, if I drop the pawn on f2 with check and just go king h2, is that the end of the world or something? I don't think so. So I think that I'm just going to go queen takes d5. Another dragon from uh, a4, h5. I'll go bishop e3. Yugoslav attack is the usual routine. Knight e5 against Sergrich. Uh, h3 against Zebile. Uh, King h1 against Brian Woods. Classical Venigan. And now against Kanishka. Uh, b5 seems like the right move for me. Trade those double pawns and weaken his pawns at the same time. We got Eternal Warrior to back up with Bishop to e7, and uh, and I guess I'm just going to go Knight to uh, f1 and do that regrouping. And now, the danger against in the Conrad Salazar game is that somehow this Bishop opposite color position becomes a draw. But is Knight c5 winning a pawn for me? Don't know. Knight c5. He has b5. So uh, should my move order be Bishop? to d5 and then push the pawns i don't know he might come out of this okay 
Uh, knight a5 is the same thing. So I'm going to try bishop to d5 and see if I could do something there. Knight a5 from Mr. Neal, bishop to c2. Can't, you know, usually the, that bishop has to move in the Rui when the knight goes. Uh, e takes d4, rook takes d4 with moving Dutchman. Queen takes f2. King to h2 against Hippopotamus. Uh, d6 from Indiana Fats. And I believe in this position I take on e5. Uh, and now we had Stendhal has gone knight h5. I'm going to take on g7. And now what's the deal here against Kanishka? Do I just want to leave that pawn on b5 there for later? Probably. So I'm just going to go knight to d2 and come out with my pieces. f3 against h4, h5. b6 from Conrado Salazar. And now the question is, okay, uh, I, I, I go bishop. Let's say I'm going to go bishop to b7. And and that might just uh, it it might just become a bishop opposite color boring kind of draw here. All right, Dvios, how do I open more lines on him here? Um, some I I really think my position against Dvios is really good, uh, a lot of development, and also a pretty safe position too. I'm going to put my bishop on b5 and maybe start to attack to d7 square. Um, Con, uh, Brian Wood has gone bishop to d8, and I'm re withdrawing the bishop all the way back to g1. Uh, bishop to uh, h3 against Stendhal. Uh, and now Indiana Fats. I always thought that this was probably Black's best line, but queen e2, white still might be able to eke out some kind of edge there. Okay, Hippopotamus has gone c6, and I'm thinking of just going queen takes c5. I don't see anything wrong with that. Queen c4, keeping that Keeping that pawn is something to be said for that, too. So I think I'm just going to go queen c4 and keep that e6 pawn. Uh, let's see. We had uh, Zebile has gone rook a d8. And now let's see what's going on here. I'm going to go rook a to d1. Uh, a5 from Conrado Salazar. And uh, and what what uh, should I do here? Is there any Are there any winning chances here? Uh, a3, does that make sense for me? So I'm going to try a3 against Conrado and see see what's going on there. Maybe I can keep his knight there. Knight g6 from Kanishka, and I will go. All right, where should my bishop go in this position is a good question. Um, bishop to g6, or I'm thinking of putting it on c7, actually, and running it around to the other side. Let me try that. I'm going to try bishop to c7. Queen d2 against a4, h5. Uh, let's see, knight c4 against Mr. Neal, and I'm going to go h3 and ask him where his bishop's going to go. Uh, Hippopotamus has gone king to h8, and I'm just going to come out fast here. Bishop to e3 looks like a nice move. And knight d4 from Conrado Salazar. I fear that this game is just uh, on its way to becoming a, a draw. I have to see. Um Let's see, I'm going to try knight to d2. And and as usual with the bishop opposite colors, got to be a little careful about what happens in these positions. All right, now, moving Dutchman, I, I don't know if I can, I'm thinking about going bishop h6. I have to make sure my knight on h5 isn't hanging. Also, a sensible move is probably just to retreat back with knight to, uh, to f3, but bishop h6 would be the greedy move here. So bishop h6, I have to analyze knight g8, and then on knight g8, bishop to d7. I don't know if he has knight e5 or something, so I think I'm going to play it safe and go knight to f3. Uh, let's see, uh, rook e8 from Alahote, and I think I just want to come out with bishop to g2. And queen to Hippopotamus has gone queen to f6, and I'm still keeping all my stuff in this game. So I'm just going to go queen to e4, and I really I have my e pawn, and I think more stuff is on the way. So I really like my position here. Okay, Indiana Fats has gone bishop to f5. And now uh, let's see what to do here. Um, is he trying to keep that pawn? Maybe he can snatch c2. Uh, if, if I play something like bishop to b3, what's happening? Uh, bishop to b3, He maybe uh, does he go e4 and keep that pawn? That's what I'm wondering here. Uh, queen takes e5, Can he? Tr if we trade and he takes c2, 
I mean, I'm probably okay there, but uh, nothing, you know, nothing really too special. All right, I'm going to try queen takes e5 and c. Although, I mean, it's it's just settling, I think. You know, I mean, it, 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 it feels like I should be able to be greedier. I mean, bishop c4, it leads to a very sharp position after e4. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's the right thing to do. And then on E4, see if I, I don't know if queen C4 hits F7 and I snatch the pawn on C6 and that leads to a very unbalanced position. If my queen doesn't get trapped, I don't think it gets trapped. I have some A4 thing. So, uh, so I'm struggling with what to do here. Um, H3 is, does H3 do anything? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, H3 is my idea really to go G4. I'm not sure. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to try H3 just to see what's going on here. Uh, maybe taking on E5 is the right move. Okay. We got 98 against Christos. And now what do I want to do here? Do I just want to go F5 and cramp them up? I think I'm going to go F5 and cramp them up. And Knight to D4 from Conrado Salazar. And I'm going to go Knight to C4. And that forks some pawns, so I don't know. I mean, did I win a pawn there? I, I, I can't tell. All right, Castle's queenside against a4, h5. Uh, bishop to e7 from d, v, os. And I'm going to go pawn takes pawn on e6. That position looks really nice for me. I'm going to give Mr. Neal's knight the boot with b3. Uh, Brian Wood has got knight to b4, and that's the typical typical kind of move there. He just has to make sure that nothing bad happens with the knight. And also, I'm always keeping an eye on when is e5 good. I'm going to go bishop to f3 against Brian Wood. And now, how do I keep uh, Al Hote from doing anything here? I'm thinking, of is e5 a nice move for me? I think e5 looks good. Just put in total clamp there. Okay, Hippopotamus has gone rookie 8. And I'm going to keep this. Now, can I keep this pawn? With with uh, I'm going to keep this pawn with e7 and just try and be greedy. And if he wants to, he he's going to have to uh, uh, some somehow trade everybody, and and that's got to help me. All right, now positionally against P. Christos, positionally speaking, bishop to h5 must be the right move. I always remember the the famous Karpov Unzicker game. Okay, Conrad Salazar has gone. Uh, bishop c5, and now if I take on e5, what happens? So I'm going to snatch on e5. Uh, knight, to, knight to c6 from Eternal Warrior, and the usual routine on knight c6 is to go a3. I don't know. a3 could be considered a lazy move. It depends. dv os. Uh, can I go queen takes e6? Pin and winning an important pawn. Okay, let's see. Moving Dutchman has gone... Uh, castles and, and, you know, usually in these positions, we automatically play Bishop H six. Um, I don't know if, if that, if I should be doing that automatically, but I'll look to see, you never know Bishop H six, if there's any kind of sacrifices or anything or any knight G five things. Um, I don't know. I'm looking at E five also. So maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I just go H three and, uh, and, and, and stop knight G four stuff. Okay, uh, we have F6 from Conrado Salazar, and, and I feel like I've come out of this okay here. I won a pawn, and of course, with the bishop opposite color, there's always some chances, but knights are on the board, so and, and my pawn structure solid, so I'm just going to go knight to d3, and I feel like I'm doing all right there. Okay, bishop h4, knight b6 from Mr. Neal. I go knight to d2. Uh, bishop to b7 from Hippopotamus. And uh, I'm just going to go bishop takes c5 and guard that pawn a lot. Make sure his bishop never opens up. Okay, now against El Hote, uh, 94 to c5 really has has a serious effect on his position because it, it, it's it's having trouble moving stuff. Okay, 97 from ears, and uh, and what's going on here? I'm going to try c4 just to stop stuff. Uh, knight to d7 from from Christos. And uh, and I'm thinking about a knight to e4 to ball, put pressure on his on his d6 pawn. Pawn takes e5 against Sergrich, and bishop to d6 from Conrado Salazar, 
And now my bishop on d5 is everything under control here. Um, I'm thinking of going king f1 just to defend stuff. I don't think he can snatch on h2. So, uh, and g3, I don't know on g3. One thing is, if he if he trades knights in this position, it's it's probably a draw. So I need to, I, I can't get into a position where knights get traded. This is for certain. Okay, so I'm going to try king to f1. Uh, rook to b8 against DVR, threatening rook takes b5. Um, I'm thinking I should go all the way back to e2 with my queen and then start to bother him on the h file. Okay, moving Dutchman has gone rook to e8. And I'm looking to see what's up with knight to g5. On knight to g5, what does he do? Does he go knight e5 or something? All right, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try knight to g5 against moving Dutchman. I'm going for a uh, a bishop, a good bishop versus a uh, bad bishop, a good knight versus bad bishop against P Christos with bishop takes e5, uh, a5 from Hippopotamus, and I'm going to go rook to e1 and triple on that pawn. And that position looks really nice uh, against Kanishka. I think I now I, I'm going to go bishop to to um, b6 and keep that bishop there. Let's see what Conrado Salazar is up to here. He went king to king to uh, d7, and I think I'm going to go pawn to h4. Knight to now, uh, Mr. Neal's played a good move. Knight to h7. So I have to see what to do here. If I play now, he might be trying some knight g5 ideas, so I have to be watch that out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going against Mr. Neal. I'm just going to go knight f1 anyway. Uh, now, what's happening with DVS? Rookie one looks like a good move for me to play. Um, the only question is what what does he do on rookie one? Also, bishop to c4 to keep him in the middle might be nice. I'm going to try bishop to c4 to keep him in the middle. Uh, P. Christos has gone F takes E5, and now I'm looking, uh, do I have any tricks with uh, with F6 or something like that? Uh, I think I'm happy just to go bishop takes on F7, and that's a good knight versus a bad bishop position. All right, Stenhall's gone pawn to B4. I'm going to go pawn to H4. Uh, D, um, Brian Wood, rook to E8. And... I'm going to try Karp Karpov idea. I remember Karpov was always doing stuff like Rook F2 to D2. Um, so Rook F2, I just have to see, does, uh, does he have any ideas? I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to try Rook to F2. Uh, Bishop to D7 from A4, H5. I'll get out of the way with King to B1. Um, H6 from Conrado Salazar. And how do I come out now with my king here? I'm going to go bishop to d5 and get, get my bishop out of there. And knight g e7 from Halote. And what to do here? Um, something like I'm going to try bishop to c5. Keeping an eye on his d7 pawn, trying to keep him from coming out. h6 from Zebal. I go queen c1. I think we're in like a long book alakine business. And now uh, after rook a c8 against Hippopotamus... I'm I'm wondering about, about rook to f8. Sorry, rook. Uh, first, first I'm looking at rook uh, rook to c8, rook f5 to to f8. But then I don't know. Does he get some queen c5 thing? But no, rook f8 he has to take. I take back, and then I take with the bishop on f8. So I think rook f8 should win. Bishop b5 check against dvr. So I wanted to keep him in the middle. So bishop b5 check. Uh, knight g3 against Eternal Warrior, strong center position. Knight f4 from Kanishka. My bishop has to go back temporarily to f1. And now let's see what ha is happening to P. Christos. Um, queen to h5 seems like it could be a good move, forcing h6. f6 is interesting. What does he take what he has? If he takes it with the bishop on f6, I'm going to try. I'm going to see if, if f6 is some kind of move here. And then going for a, a fast decision. All right, we got moving Dutchman has gone, played a tricky move, d5. And so if I go knight takes d5, what happens? I'm going to go knight takes d5. And uh, g5 from Conrado Salazar, I go pawn takes pawn. Uh, rook to b8 from Indiana Fats, and I will go bishop to b3. 
Uh, knight g5 from Mr. Neal. I'll take on g5 with the uh, with the bishop. Trying for some kind of bishop opposite color game. And now against Pete Christos, my idea is to double on the f file. Uh, first, uh, first looking at something like queen to g4. And then seeing some work on that. Okay, now, rook f8 against hippopotamus. Rook takes f8. Pawn takes f8 equals queen. Looks good. Um, hg5 from uh, from Conrado Salazar. And now, how do I uh, make some progress here? F3 first. Okay, I'll go F3, and then it's going to be slow progress. Knight G3 against Mr. Neal. Um, against Evios is rookie one. Seems like a decent kind of thing to do. And now against moving Dutchman, how do I want to do this? Is an, is, is an exchange sack a possibility here, or what's the story? I'm thinking about exchange sacks. I could just maybe go bishop takes D5 too. Uh, rook takes D5, hits the rook. All right, I'm going to try exchange sack. Rook takes d5. Uh, Zebal has gone bishop to h7. Now I'm looking to see all the time when is d5 a good move. I'm just going to go rook e1. Keep an eye on his uh, his pawns. Uh, knight uh, uh, bishop to d6 from Kanishka. I will go g3 and send that knight backwards. Uh, let me have a queen against hippopotamus. Uh, e5 from Brian Wood, and f5 seems like the right reply there. Uh, knight e5 from Ears, and now Ears is uh, Ears is going to take on d3. Um, I don't know. If I still I still cannot play this this um, bishop to f4 because he takes. So I, I'm going to go bishop to c3 against Ears, uh, and now bishop takes f8 against Hippopotamus, and I'm up a rook. Uh, bishop to g3 from uh, from Conrado Salazar. And now, well, how do I go about trying to win this? He's stymied me, and uh, and my king is now out. There's no chance, there's really no chance to do anything here with this. So I'm going to try, uh, let's see, if, if, I, if I go, let's say, if I, if I go b3, does that do anything? Uh, B3, knight to C1. Kind of, all right, I'm going to try knight to C1 and reorganize my knights. But like I said, I can't trade knights because then it just becomes a dead draw. Okay, knight G6 from Kanishka. I guess I just come out with knight F3. Uh, Bishop G6 from Mr. Neal. And now what What am I doing here? Um, trying, to, trying to play on the queen side sometimes. All right, I'm going to try pawn to A4. Typical Rui Lopez type of stuff to do. Moving Dutchman has gone. Bishop takes g5. And uh, and I'm going to go. Bishop takes g5 also. And now Hippopotamus has gone queen to f6. And now I'm looking to see if queen e8 could be a good move. Uh, and trying for some sort of fast decision there. Okay. Conrado Salvador's king has come up. I'm going to go knight to try and reorganize my knight a little bit. Knight to a2 to c3, see if that does anything. King e7 from Kanishka. And uh, now um, I have to make sure that Kanishka does not bother me with them. Um, I think I'm just going to take on a6. So my bishop is safe over there on a5. Um, a5, uh, Alhote is gone. A5, and now um, knight d6 attacks his rook and maybe takes another pawn. So knight d6. Alhote got into big trouble there by by not, by uh, um, what he did was losing his dark squared bishop with bishop c5 was just very bad for him there. Okay, king to h1 against Hippopotamus. I feel like that one is almost over. And now against Kanishka, I have to back up with my bishop because rook b8 is a threat. And now uh, DVS has gone rook to b6 to stop my, my queen check. And I'm wondering, should I come out fast with bishop f4? Looks nice. Queen to c3 from Stenhall. And, uh, and I feel like I could just move the queen away from there and threaten his queen. So where should, it, where should I put my queen? I'm thinking of going... To, uh, I'm going to go to h2. Maybe the h file opens up. 
Uh, Rook C8 against Eternal Warrior. I'm just going to go H3, take my time. And against Hippopotamus, Bishop D6, check. Discover check, wins the queen. Uh, Knight E2 from Conrado Salazar. And I'm going to come up with my king. And what's he, what, what is he up to here? So, well, he, he's maybe going to go Knight E3, check. Is is the question, and uh, and will that annoy me? So, not sure. Feels like feels like this one is uh, is perhaps getting a little too drawish. Okay, I'm going to go knight to c3, uh, and now against El Hote, do I just snatch the b5 pawn? Why not? Knight takes b5. Uh, moving Dutchman's gone c6, and I feel like I should go all the way back with my bishop so it doesn't get hit with something. Uh, bishop to b7 from Kanishka, and how do, how do I develop here? I think I'm just going to go bishop to d3, and b5 from Brian Wood. So I, I don't think I want to go on passant there. This is it looks like a confusing game. Um, always have to be uh, on the lookout for exchange sacks and, and pawn sacks. Okay, I'm going to go rook to d2, and... Castles from Mr. Neal, and I think I'm going to try a5. See if I could go for c4 later. F4 against Sergridge, protecting that's in the Carol Can. And now a uh, knight to g7 from P. Christos. And what's the deal here? So I'm gonna I'm gonna double on the F file and see if I could cause some trouble for him. Uh, where should I go? Rook to F3 or Rook to F2? I'm going to go Rook to F2. Knight E4 from Kanishka. And and I guess I'm just going to go King to E2 there. Keep my king in the middle on this one, just like he did. Uh, queen takes F4. Queen takes E7 against Devias. And now uh, Hippopotamus is down a, uh, a Rook and a Queen. So I'm just going to go rook to e7 and try and deliver mate as fast as possible. Uh, what's the deal here against El Hote? Um, I'm thinking about knight to a7. And just to trade more stuff, that looks good. b6, uh, knight c5 from moving Dutchman. Uh, hitting my uh, e-pawn, and now I have to see what's the best way to protect this. Um Queen to F3 kind of stuff, hitting, counterattacking, F7 maybe. Is that any good? Also, how fast can my queen, can I organize a mate on F6 in some kind of situation? You know, with, with a bishop on F6 trying to get a queen or some kind of diagonal thing. So, all right, I'm going to try, I'm going to try queen to F3. Uh, let's see, F5 from Kanishka. And I think against Kanishka, I'm going to try to work on that A pawn. I think I'm just going to go rook to a2 and see if I get double rooks. Uh, rook f8 from Zebile. Uh, I'm just going to go bishop to f1 and regroup myself. And now against Hippopotamus, uh, should mate be happening here soon? Uh, I'm going to go rook takes g7 and sack a rook. Uh, Conrad Salazar has gone knight to d4. I'm going to go bishop to... Let's see, where should, I, I'm trying to fork his pawns. I'm going to go bishop to a2, see if I can fork some pawns. Pawn to e4 from Indiana Fats. And, and now I was intending g4 to win my pawn back. Loosens up my king, but his king is still in the center too. Okay, knight, Mr. Neal's got knight to d7. And I'm going to go b4. Mr. Neal's put together a pretty decent position here. Brian Wood's gone D5. And now let's see what I should do here. Uh, I'm thinking about Bishop to C5 and, and attacking that knight. So let's put let's see what if Bishop to C5 is does anything. Uh, Queen D7 from moving Dutchman, defending the pawn. And um, I'm thinking that Rook D1 will chase his queen somewhere else. So I'm going to go Rook to D1. Uh, let's see, rook hc8 against Kanishka, and I'm going to double rooks on the a-file, work on that pawn. Uh, bishop e7 
Pete Christos has traded, is offering a trade of Rooks. All right, I sacked the pawn here. I don't know if that was the right thing to do, so I'm going to take on F7 and see if I could get in there somehow. Uh, DVR says King is, gone, is going for a walk here. I don't know how healthy that could be. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at Bishop to D3 check. Looks nice. Where does he go with his king? And Bishop E5 check against Hippopotamus. Uh, Bishop takes A7 against El Hote. Uh, Stenholm's offering a queen trade with the uh, with, uh, queen to E5. And I don't know. My attack on the H file is going so fast, I feel like I should turn that down. So I'm going to go F4 and actually sack a pawn and see if I could just go for mate there. Uh, F4 against Kanishka. And now, how do I, what, what do I do here? Um, moving my bishop out of the way would be a nice thing. I have a lot of power on the, on the A file, but I'm not really sure what it's doing. So I'm going to see if I could go knight to B3 and regroup some stuff. Uh, let's see, against uh, P. Christos, now what to do? Um, looking at something like H4. But uh, how do I get in there? Knight to g3 to bring the other knight around might not be a bad idea. Rook check, maybe. Uh, let's see. So if, I, if I go rook check and then some, uh, and then go on the f file, is that something decent to do? All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to use my rook check. Queen d7 from Eternal Warrior. I'm just going to go bishop to d2. Uh, queen to f7 from Zebile. And I'm going to go bishop to f2. A lot of regrouping. And queen f7 is mate against hippopotamus. So one nothing for me. Okay. Al Hote has gone rook to b5. And now uh, I'm, I'm looking to see a4 feels like a very good move to me. Where, will, where, where does his rook go? So I'm going to go a4. Uh, King c5 from Con Conrado Salazar. And I'm looking to see what to do. Knight to d5. He has f5. What's going on here? Am I making any progress? Uh, all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try knight to d5. See if that's any sort of progress. Queen c7 from moving Dutchman. And now, I don't know. I'm threatening to get fancy here with something like e5. And then, and then if he goes rook takes e5, bishop f4 maybe, so something like that. How does that look? All right, I'm going to get fancy with e5. Pawn takes pawn from Kanishka. I'll take back with the h pawn. Um, P. Christos has gone king to g8. And now I have to see how, how do I get in there with these knights. All right, I'm going to try knight to g3 and get the other one in. Uh, DV asks king h6, and I'm thinking of coming up with a rook lift. Looks like rook to rook to e3 looks nice with the rook to g3 check type of thing. Uh, Bishop e7 from Sergrich. And now what to do against Sergrich? Queen g4 ideas, knight e4 maybe. Um, bishop to e3 ideas sometimes. Uh, let's see. Uh, when can I use the d6 square is, is going to be a good question. All right, I'm going to try bishop e3 against Sergrich. Solid Carol can bishop back to e5 from Conrado Salazar, and I'm gonna go b4 check. Uh, h5 from Kanishka, and all right, now Kanishka, I'm gonna switch back. I'm gonna go now. Hold on here, I have to look to see. I was thinking of going rook to um h1 to work on that side. I don't know. Bishop to, um, if I go bishop to b4, are my double pawns a problem, or can I use to c5 square sometime? That's a question. Also, in this position, I have other strange ideas, like knight to g5, trying to get rid of his knight. Uh, and is h4 really bothering me? That's the question. All right, I'm going to try bishop to b5 against Kanishka, bishop to b4 against Kanishka, see, see if I can get in there. a6 from Zebile, not sure what he's trying to do to me. Um, I'm thinking knight e4 looks like a nice move. All right, now, uh, against Al Hote, uh, if I go bishop c5 and win his, win his uh, fork, his knight, and his rook, what's the story there? Knight takes d3 from ears, and I'm going queen takes d3, of course. 
Pawn takes pawn against Conrado Salazar. Pawn takes B4 against Kanishka. And we got Indiana fans to retreat. And I guess I just take this knight on E4 as my king. The pawn on E4, pardon. And, yep, knight takes E4. Let's see if that's going to bother him. Okay, against Brian Wood, D takes E4. And now uh, what's what's the deal here? I guess I have to go knight takes E4. Um, Conrado Salvador got his king back to go to C6. I'm just going to go king to F2. So I don't know. You know, I mean, if this is a technique jog or what. Rook to F8 from Kanishka. And I'm looking for tricks here. I'm not sure. Is he hoping to double? I'm going to go knight C5. Knight C5 looks like a good move for me. Bishop to F4 from Mr. Mr. Meal. And now what do I want to do? Uh, keep that knight. And if so, will he try some F5 kind of stuff? All right, I'm gonna just going to go knight back to F1. Uh, rook C8 from A4, H5. I'm going to try G, the G4 business. Uh, knight C2 from from uh, Conrado Salazar, and he's trying to attack my pawn, and that's a decent thing to do. And should I go, if, if I go bishop to b3, I'm going to try bishop to b3 to get him to go back where he came from. We got bishop to c8 from Kanishka, uh, bishop to c6, sorry. And now uh, I'm looking at rook takes. Does that seem... Like I can bother him. I think I'm bothering him here. So rook takes a6 looks good. Knight takes a4 from moving Dutchman. And now I'm still really trying to get my queen in there and made him. So what's the story with bishop to f6? And just try and do this, the, the uh, just the brutal mate thing and see if I could get in there. Conrado Salazar has gone knight to a3. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go F4, uh, not F4, G3, playing for F4. Uh, rook takes A6 against Kanisha. Rook takes H6, A6 back. Uh, P. Christos is offered a trade of queens, which I believe I have to say no to. Uh, I'm looking at knight F5, and if I go knight F5, what, uh, what happens? Probably he has to trade the knights, and I take back with a rook. All right, I'm going to try knight F5. Still good knight versus bad bishop situation bishop e7 from zebmile got him to go backwards uh looking to see if knight e, knight to does knight to uh c5 do anything he, if he takes it what's the story all right knight to c5 looks sort of decent i think uh bishop takes e4 against brian wood uh, th there's a lot of stuff hanging here all of a sudden bishop takes e4 what's he going to do about all this stuff hanging b5 from Conrado Salazar, and I'm going to go F4, see if I can get my king in there. Knight, knight takes F5 from P. Christos. I take back with the rook. And knight to H5 from D. Vios. And now, what's the best way for me to do something to him here? Uh, double rooks on the E-file, possibly. Let's, let's, let's double rooks on the e-file. That looks pretty nice, and we'll see if we can get in there after him. The worst thing about D.V. Nance's position is that I, I'm up a pawn, and I have an attack, and my king is really safe also. So those things there add up to being pretty nice for me. All right, now, uh, Kanishka has protected with, with um, uh, rook to c8, and now I'm looking to see um, various checks that I have. Where will he go with his king? Do I want to go b5? All right, I'm going to go b5. Maybe that pawn's going to get in there. Okay, we have moving Dutchman has gone, is going to put his knight on e6 and try and hold the business. So I'm going to go queen to, uh, where, where, any tricks, queen to e3. Or queen to f4. Queen f4 keeps an eye on on the f7 pawn. So I'm going to go queen to f4. Pawn takes pawn against Conrado Salazar. Bishop takes knight against Zebal. I, I shall recapture. Uh, h5 from P. Christos. Uh -huh. Now, if, if, if I go rook takes g5, 
Am I bothering him enough with the rook with with the uh, with the queen and the knight? All right, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to see if I'm bothering him a lot there. Uh, knight takes c5 from Kanishka, and I'm getting some connected pass pawns here, so I got to feel good about that. So I'm going to just take on c5, and Brian Wood has played a good move, uh, in between move. Bishop c6 gets his bishop out of the way. He's going to do something about his knight so i'm thinking about queen to f3 and then what will he do on that all right queen to f3 i'll give it a try bishop d4 check from connor and salazar i'm dreaming of my of having two connected pass pawns so i'm going to head over there with king f3 okay we got a uh 96 from moving dutchman and uh and now i'm gonna go i'm looking at queen to h6 and see what the story with that is. Rook takes d1 from Zebile. And now, what do I take this back with? The rook or the queen? I'm going to take it back with the queen. Queen takes check against P. Christos. Let's see if I could drive him crazy with those pieces there. All right, knight c4 against Conrado Salazar. Uh, not a lot of material left. I have a choice here. I could take the knight, but I don't know. Then, then his pass pawn could be really bothersome. Uh, if I play king, what if I, I play king to f? Let, let, let me see. If I if I go king to f5, I might have some knight moves, and he's threatening knight d2 check. So I have to. I'm I'm going to try bishop to c2. Simply get out of the way. Protect some stuff. Okay, now what happened here with with the Kanishka? A, a piece sack. Bishop takes b5. All right, well, I'll take that. Bishop takes b5. And Sergrich has gone knight to b6. And, uh, and I believe I'm going to go c4 and try and keep his knight out of there. Bishop back to h5 for Mr. Neal. And now what's happening? He's trying to work on a pin there. And I'm going to see if that pin, is that pin really bothering me? I'm going to try bishop to d3 and see if I could get c4 and to bother him. Queen takes e4 against Indiana Fats. Uh, looks like Ears has gone queen e7, pinning me up, keeping my queen from going anywhere. And I'm going to try, uh, now, I was thinking of trying to castle queenside, sacking a piece, but in some lines, all I'm getting is a check. All right, so I'm going to go bishop to c3 and threaten mate on h8. Okay, Stenhall, I've sacked the pawn. I'm going to go through with this h5 business. Uh, h, we, we have um, the phone ringing, and uh, and looks like against uh, h4, against uh, a4, h5. And we have bishop to g5 hitting a rook against Brian Wood. But um, can I take... It's a good question. Do I do I move my rook or can I take on b4 and get two pieces for a rook? But then when I get two pieces for the rook at the end, he has rook c4. So I'm thinking about rook to d6 here. And let's see, how is, is that right? Rook to d6 or do I just want to play it safe? Where should my rook go? So, all right. Um, the bishop takes b4. It's... Too bad for me it doesn't work. It's good for him that it doesn't work. He gets that rook to c4 thing. So, all right, I'm going to try rook to c6. d6, sorry. Okay, now, let's see what's happening against Conrado Salazar. Uh, he's gone king to d6. That's a good move. And I, I feel like this game is just turning into a, uh, is, is just turning into a draw. Um, sometimes he's going to have f5 stuff. So I'm going to go king to f5, and I think it's just going to be a draw there. So he he, he defended pretty well um, uh, in the bishop opposite colors. Knight d7 from Zebile, and what's, uh, what's the deal here? Um, is e5 ever going to bother me? I'm just going to, I think I'm going to go a3 and start to work on that side. Uh, okay, now against Christos, do I want to... Um, what do I want to do here? Do I want to take another pawn with check, or or do I want to go? Yeah, I think I think I should take the pawn with check, so there's no queen g4 stuff. Okay, we have 
against DV Yoss. We have he played rook f6, so he's made a threat on uh, on f2. And I'm gonna I feel like rook f6 I should do rook f3. Uh, what else? Or I could just protect myself here with rook to e2. I think I'm gonna keep all my stuff on and just go rook on three to e2. And then maybe get some g3 stuff and things like that and just take it easy. Okay, c5 for moving Dutchman. And uh, and I'm gonna try. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try bishop to d5. Cement that bishop in there. Bishop to uh, e5 from ears. And now um, uh, this gives me an opportunity to cancel queenside. Um, I don't have queen h3 here because he does bishop takes c3. So can I cancel queenside here and get out of the way? I think Conrad Salazar, he offered me a draw. He played knight e3 check. And uh, so that game ends in a draw. Rook takes c5 <coughs> from Kanishka with the, uh, um, that's a uh, peace sack. I go bishop to d3. And I don't know, Kanishka got into trouble in the opening. Um, c5 against Sergrich. And, and I feel like I should go knight to e4. Um, just make sure that queen c6 doesn't bother me. Um, trading off all the rooks, queen g4. Okay, I'm going to go knight to e4 against Sergrich. And now here, here we go against the P. Christos. I have a lot of checks here, but do any of them do anything? Okay, queen. I'm looking at queen. To, I'm going to go queen to h7 because it'll put, put his king on the back rank. Pawn takes h5 from Stenhall. And, uh, and I'll go bishop takes h5. Now, the only thing is, is his queen solid? It, 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 will his queen be solid on, uh, on f5? That's, that's, the, that's the big question here. Um, so bishop takes h5 is, uh, is, is a good question here. I'm wondering, I'm, I'm wondering about leaving it there. I'm just going to go bishop e2 and turn it into a another kind of sacrifice. Knight takes c2 from Brian Wood. Now, I have to admit, I didn't think of that one, but there seems to be all kinds of stuff hanging in this game. Rook takes c6, knight takes, rook takes, okay, I'm going to try, rook, I'm, I, I can go bishop takes c6, I'm going to go rook takes c6 against Brian Wood. What a mess. Okay, queen to c8 against Mr. Neal, and uh, and I'm going to, I'm looking around here to see how is he going to bother me. Um, I think that I'm going to try pawn to c4 against Mr. Neal, see if I can open him up. Knight f6 from Zebile. And now is Zebile, tr what's Zebile trying to do to me? Is knight e4 going to bother me? I'm going to go pawn to b4. Uh, we got Kanishka to go backwards with, uh, with knight to f8. And now, um, do I want to get my b pawn rolling against Kanishka? Uh, what's the story here? Can I, if I get my b pawn going, uh, can Kanishka bother me? I'm going to try King to D2 just to keep the Rook out of my face. Uh, Rook H F8 against DV <coughs> And, um, uh, and now what to do here? I can maybe go maybe against DV I just, uh, I, I just play solidly and take pawns. So I think I'm going to go queen to C5 might seem a little weird, but, uh, what the heck? And maybe I could even trade Queens if it's making it easier. Why not? H5 against A4, H5, and now against P. Christos. Uh, any more checks? He, he's he's going to get some kind of thing. With, he, he can offer me queen trades. So I'm going to go knight to E4. Okay, bishop takes C6 against Brian Wood. Knight to E4 from Zebile, and I'm just going to... I was thinking I should just go... Uh, bishop to e3 and move the bishop and what's he what's he trying to bother me with um b5 is not completely out of the question here just let him take on f2 and take on f2 and then try and unravel myself All right, i'm gonna try b5 let's see how that goes uh rook to d8 moving dutchman's giving s some stuff back i'm gonna go pawn to c4 and cement the bishop in there knight takes f3 from from h4 h5 all right now, that's a, a typical kind of dragon thing. I have to take it, of course. Uh, A5 from Stendhal. 
And I'm going to go now. I'm I'm going to go rook to d1 and see if I can chase his queen somewhere where it doesn't want to be. Uh, Kanishka's gone knight to d7, and I I think I'm going to pin him with rook to a7. Bishop takes b5, um, h5 from a4, h5, and now I have to do bishop to e2 most likely. Uh, pawn takes pawns, kind of stuff. His king's in the middle. Eh. All right, so I have to do bishop e2. Um. Queen g5 from DVS with knight of four ideas coming and and threatening threatening some mates and things like that. So can I just go g3 and then and then g3? I'm going to go g3, but then uh, is knight of four really annoying? Is a question. Maybe I should I'm, maybe I should go rook to e5. All right, I'm going to try rook to e5. Uh, King D6 from Kanishka, and now uh, uh, pawn to B4, getting my B pawn rolling. What about it? Let me go with that. Queen D7 from P. Christos, we expected. And now, how do I, how do I win this pawn? And not well. I mean, I if worse comes to worse, I have two connected pass pawns on the other side, which might be pretty good too. So where should I check P. Christos? Is a question. Queen check on h8, queen e8. All right, let me try queen check on h8. Rook takes d1, rook takes d1 against Sergrich. Uh, knight takes a1 against Brian Wood. And now what's the story here with Brian Wood? I could take on e8, he takes on b3, I take on f7. What is that about? I think I'm going to try that. And rook d7 for moving Dutchman. And I'm going to try uh, pawn to h4. Uh, let's see. Uh, queen f5 from Stenhall. I'm going to go bishop to d3. And uh, now against P. Christos. Do I want to? I, I, I get a lot of pawns if I trade queens. I get c5, I get, I get, and I have five pawns. I think that must be the right thing to do. Um, is there any any other way to do it? Well, queen g, well, hold on here. I could go queen to g7, threatening the b pawn. And then, yeah, I think queen to g7 is strong. Yep. No need to trade stuff just yet. Uh, against Kanishka, what's the deal here? Um, I'm up a piece for a pawn, and I'm going to try rook to a6 check to see if I could harass that, that e6 pawn a little bit. Bishop takes h5 from a4, h5, and uh, and yeah, it's, it's a real kind of dragon kind of thing to do. Not bad. Uh, I've done stuff like that when I was playing the dragon. I'm going to try bishop to d4. Okay, queen e7 from p. Christos. And, 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 and so, so that's right. And now, uh, I guess I have to go for that line that I did uh, with queen G8 trade Queens and take all the pawns. Okay. I'm going to try that check trade everybody. Okay. Uh, Sten has gone queen to C five and, uh, and I'm going to go F five, uh, queen to C five from Indiana fats. And I would like to keep his King in the middle for as long as possible, so I'm going to go rook on A to D1. I think this has turned out okay for me. All right, now, last chance here for P. Christos. All right, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take off all the pawns. Queen takes E8 and see what the deal with that is. Uh, we have Sergrich is trading lots of stuff, so we're trade, making trades. Queen D2 from DVS, and now... All right. I mean, I'm I'm thinking against DVR. So I'm looking at I'm looking at an exchange sack. Uh, I'm looking at just rook to f1 doesn't look bad, and and I'm thinking of trading queens. All right, I'm going to trade queens on e3 just because he's driving me nuts here. Okay, knight takes d6, bishop takes c4 from Mr. Neal, and now uh, against Kanishka, what's the best way to bother him? Knight to d4. Is that going to annoy him? All right, knight to d4, bothering the e6 pawn. Uh, b5 from uh, moving Dutchman. 
un, uh, trying to undermine me a little bit. And now let's see what the story is here. If I go pawn takes pawn, what, what will he do to me? Um, and I'm trying to see how, if does H5 do something. And so B3, he might have is So, so what does he do to me? If I go pawn takes pawn, all right, I'm going to try pawn takes pawn. I'm pinning myself, but he's a little tied up also. So let's try that. Uh, okay. Knight takes. Queen takes E8 from Brian Wood, and I'm going to go knight takes A1. Uh, and now we have to see against Stenhall. He's offered me a trade of queens on E5. I obviously do not want to trade queens. So I'm going to try queen to H4 looks decent. Queen F2 looks okay. Uh, I'm going to go queen to H4. Uh, King E7 against uh, Christos, and I'm, I'm looking to take another pawn here. Um, I Somehow I don't, could I have traded on a better square against him? Okay, so let's see. Knight takes B7. E5 against Kanishka, and what's the deal here? Knight F5 seems good. Uh... Knight takes c5 against P. Christos, and I think I, I, I didn't do something right here. I mean, I didn't do it right against P. Christos, and now it could turn into an incredible mess. Okay, so um, now where do I go against Brian Wood? So I think I did, the, did it the wrong way against the P. Christos. All right, queen c3 against Brian Wood. I got to stop that pawn. Uh, let's see now. Kanishka has gone... King F8, and now I'm thinking of various annoying ways to annoy. Rook to D6 looks like maybe something. Pushing the B pawn doesn't look bad. Rook A7 doesn't look bad. Let me go Rook A7. Queen takes E3, pawn takes E3 against DVS. And now I'm going to try pawn to A4 against P. Christos. And I, I cannot give him a pass A pawn, so I did not do this the right way. All right, now against moving Dutchman, what's uh, what's happening here? He just wants to take the pawn on b5. And uh, uh, let's see, so I'm going to go h5 uh, against Sergrich. King takes d8. And I'm going to go pawn to b3. Protect f5 against Mr. Neal. I figured this kind of thing would happen, but can he do that? All right, I'm going to go pawn takes pawn. Bishop to f3. Three uh, bishop two against Brian Wood. Bishop to f6. Can I trade on d4? Rook to c2 from P. Christos. And uh, I really did th this this game. I really screwed this up badly. All right, now what do I do here? He has this pass pawn that he's that he's going to bother me with. So I think this should have been a pretty easy win for me. And now it's might not be even a draw. Probably probably is just a loss here. Uh, he's going to get my A pawn, and then he has a pass A pawn. So I traded queens in completely the wrong position. So uh, I'm going to go knight e4, but then he takes. So I have to try knight e. I think I'm lost here. I just turn a win into a loss in one move. Okay, now what's happening against Kanishka? I guess I'm going to go rook takes g7. Um, we have Brian Wood has pushed with e3, and I'm... Looking to see, I have a lot of ways to do this. Uh, bishop takes, bishop takes f6, and then knight c2 looks fairly solid, doesn't it? So I'm going to go for that. Okay, g4 against Mr. Neal. Fork, can I do that? Uh, rook takes d5 against moving Dutchman, and I go rook takes d5. Bishop takes c3 against ears, and now. Uh, what do I take this back with the queen? And, and well, one good thing is, is that I think I'm better with the queens off also. So queen takes C3, queen E5. I think I'm happy about that, but keeping the queens on would be nice. Do I just want to go knight takes? All right. I'm going to try knight takes C3 and keep the queens on, uh, E4 against P Christos. And I'm going to go, uh, knight to F, well, I mean, he's taking all my pawns here, so I got to resign. Well, what I did there was terrible, so uh, that w that was not good. All right, now, what to do here against Kanishka? Rook to B7, rook to, uh, rook to H7, maybe. 
Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try rook to b7 attacking that knight. Uh, pawn to b3 from Stendhal. Uh, seems is seems like he's uh, it, it's it's a little bit desperate there for him. So what do I take this back with? I'm gonna take it back with the uh, with with the b pawn. And rook takes b5 from moving Dutchman. And uh, and what's going on here now? Uh, pawn takes pawn. He's got to take back with the h pawn. And I'm looking at uh, I got I got some nice stuff going on here. So let me take on and 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 then I have to see about rook to d8 check too. So let me go uh, rook to d8 check. He has to take with the queen, right? If he takes with the knight, it's mate. So rook to d8 check. Um, we got Indiana Francis going rook to b7. And I feel like if I can't keep him in the middle, I'm going to have to trade the queens. And what's the best way to trade the queens on e5 or d4? Um, but he still can't cancel because I can snatch e7. So maybe I have a free move here to do something with. Uh, how about rook to d3 or rook to e3? <coughs> Uh, let me try rook. Let me try a rook to d3 and use the free move for something. Okay, we got Eternal Warriors going rook c7. Simon's been going for about an hour and a half. Uh, we got a couple of results. Uh, I'm gonna go queen to e7. I, I think against Eternal Warrior b4 is probably a good move. Just keep him bottled up. Rook to b4 from Stendhal. So he he harassed my queen. And I'm looking for ways to get F6 in. If, if, if I get F6 in, I think that's just going to be very good for me. So where, where should I go with the queen? And also, I don't know. After he gave me that pawn back, sometimes trading queens is not going to be out of the question. All right, I'm going to try to H3. Still working on F6. Okay, now Kanishka is gone. Knight A4. I'm going to go bishop E2 if I take H5. All right, I'm going to take D8 against moving Dutchman. Um, G takes F6 against Brian Wood, and I'm going to play. I'm going to go knight to C2 and blockade that pawn. And now, what's the best way to do to try and take care of moving Dutchman? Uh, looking here at the, okay, he's got a he's got a knight and a rook, and I have we both have what five pawns. So how do I get my queen in here to bother him? Uh, I'm going to try to see if I could set up some back rank mates, maybe. So I'm going to go queen to d2. Seems reasonable. Uh, knight to b2 from Kanishka. And I'm going to go bishop takes h5. Uh, let's see. And now against DVR's g6. So I think I'm going to go chomping on some pawns. Rook takes d5. And E2 from Brian Wood, and I think my king should come closer. <coughs> king to F1, G1, knight to E4 against Zebile. Uh, um, well, I got his knight back to go back to D8. And now, can I just do something like bishop to D4, maybe? Um, keeping an eye on things. Well, maybe, maybe just bishop to E3. Let me try bishop to e3, and I feel like I'm better there. Okay, uh, Kanishi has got a check, and I'm just going to go king to e2. Uh, now, what to do with moving Dutchman? Try to get in there with in, in, in the back. Try to get him on the back rank somehow. So I'm looking. I'm I'm feeling like h6 should be a good move. And uh, rook to uh, a8 against Kanishka. And now I'm trying to organize some kind of mate here. Uh, let me give let me give a rook check on uh, on f7 first. Okay, now what's the routine here against Sergrich? Uh, trying for some ending with queen to g4. Let's try let's try queen to g4. Uh, queen to d7 from Brian Wood. <coughs> so my king comes up. He snatches on f5. I think uh, this looks pretty nice for me, doesn't it? Uh, okay, now what's happening with Mr. Neal? Mr. Neal sacrificing a rook or a bishop. So which one do I want to take? I feel like I should take the rook, and then he pins me, <coughs> and then I unpin myself. And then what's the next deal here? Is he getting e4 in or something like that? Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Mr. Neal's rook. Okay, now against Kanishka, should I just go after more pawns with knight check and knight takes d5? All right, I'm gonna go knight e7 check. That looks right, and then maybe I can still set up a mate. Okay, uh, uh, Queen E7 from Zebile. Zebile is is now after my C5 pawn. Um, should uh, I? I don't know. I mean, I could probably sack that pawn. I don't see why I should though. On Queen to D4. All right, I'm going to try Queen to D4 and just uh, just keep an eye on everybody. All right, now uh, Kanishka has gone. King H8, and now on Bishop G6, it's made on the next move, and he'll have some checks. And then will that be it after that? Okay, uh, knight rook to e6 from Tvos, and uh, feel like feel like I should s just keep on taking pawns. So I'm going to go rook a5. <coughs> um, looks like uh, Mr. Meal has gone. Queen takes f5. I'm going to go bishop e2. I'm just going to try and trade stuff, and uh, and rook to b4 from moving Dutchman, and now. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, so I'm trying for back. I got him tied up on the back rank. And so the question is here, is he, he, he's got these pawns to bother me with. I think I'm going to try G3. I, 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 when his knight goes back, when his knight goes back to F8, somehow I have to be ready to get rid of it. So I'm going to try G3 and rook to D4 from Stendhal. Okay. And now uh, can I just go bishop to c2 and take it easy, or what's the deal here? Some kind of f6 thing looks nice for me. Can I can I go rook to e? I'm going to try rook on d to e1. I'm really trying to get this e6 thing go. All right, a6 from Eternal Warrior, queen e2 seems right. Bishop f8 from Sergrich. Now, sometimes in these positions, this is where the knight d6 stuff starts to show up. Uh, because if he takes, then G7 goes. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna first try to go King to C2 and protect my stuff, and then see what happens after that. King F8 from moving Dutchman, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give him a Queen D6 check. Rook to D4 from Stenhall, and now what's going on here? I'm looking at F6. Bishop c2 feels like not a bad thing to do against Stenhall also. So on f6, takes, takes, takes h5 or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I think somehow just not going crazy here and going bishop c2 seems like a decent thing to do. Okay, moving Dutchman is, is, is running around with his king. And now, what's, what, uh, how do I want to do this? All right, I'm going to give him some checks. I'm going to go queen. I want to go queen to c6, see where he goes. Uh, Zebile has gone pawn to c6. I'm going to go pawn to a4. Keep that uh, locked up. All right, now, in the Eternal Warrior game, at what moment do I hit him with some kind of pawn break? E5 or or d5 or all of them or some of them and and i i don't know uh so i'm looking at d5 he takes takes i get a knight to f5 does that do anything and bishop h7 and queen e4 check doesn't feel feel like it does anything so i don't know and then there's playing on the other side with e4 but it feels like somehow the this e5 break has to be the right thing to do and, well, I'm going to prepare it a little more. I'm going to go rook to d1 and just in case and prepare it a little bit more. h5 from Indiana Fats. And and, uh, and now I have to be careful here. I can keep Indiana Fats in the middle some more with rook to, rook to d1. And do I have to be afraid of any h-file business here is, is what I'm wondering about. I mean, with queen g5 or some kind of thing like that. So that's a good question. So trading with queen trading with queen d4 seems like the right thing to do. So I'm going to go queen to d4, get rid of the queens. Knight f uh, knight knight f4 for dvs, and um, I think I'm just going to go bishop f1 and uh, and try to s just keep all my stuff. Rook takes d1, rook takes d1 from Stenhall, and what to do here against uh, moving Dutchman? Um. So how do I how do I get in there with with uh, with my queen? 
Uh, I'm wondering about getting over to H8 maybe. Uh, is, is that worth it? And how fast are his pawns if I do that? So I take H7, but then, I don't know, he's got these pawns of fast. I'm thinking of just going, let me, let me just try queen to A6, get rid of his A pawn. Uh, Sergrich has gone queen to C6, and I'm thinking of going, um, well, I, I'm thinking of going king to D3, but I have to be a little careful of like F5s or something like that, maybe. That's that's an interesting and and that would be an interesting ending there. All right, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try this king to d3 against Sir Grich, See if I could get my king up. Uh, pawn to e5 from Zebile. So what's he trying? He he's gonna win the pawn on c5 with with check sometimes if I want to take it. But his e5 pawn maybe is gonna hang. All right, I'm just going to go queen where if he takes him. All right, I'm going to just go queen back to a3. I think I should be okay there, even if I might have made some mistake. Okay, queen e5 from Stenghal. And still working on trying to get f6 in. Um, so if, if, if suppose I play uh, rook to f1. With the idea of getting F6 in. Also, in this position, maybe I could just take it easy and win some pawns too. Um, all right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try rook to F1. Uh, here comes A4 from moving Dutchman, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give him a queen check, put him on the back rank. Okay, now Eternal Warrior. I'm gonna keep preparing E5. I'm gonna go Bishop to B1. Pawn takes G4 against Indiana Fats. I will recapture. Rook takes C3 against A4, H5. Yeah, well, I've done stuff like that, but I'm not here, sure here if it's going to work, though. Okay, King E8 against moving Dutchman. And um, I'm going to try to walk over with my king and, and see if I could stop some pawns here. Okay, Knight takes C5 from Zebile. And what's, let's see what, what's the deal here. Um, queen takes, uh, queen to a three, stuff like that. Um, take on a six. He might take back with the knight. Uh, I think I'm, let's see what, if I go, he has his E pawn now. So I'm going to try, I think I'm going to try queen to a three king C seven from Sir Rich. And, uh, and now against Sergrich, he's very solid game. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm going to try, I was going to try knight to c3 and then let's see what he does about that. Uh, rook f e8 from DVS and okay. So if he gets the e3 pawn, what's the big deal? So I'm, I'm just going to go rook to b5 and take some more pawns. Knight takes e4. From uh from a four h five and now um what, what am I up here I'm up a rook okay I'm gonna go queen to e three rook h four from Indiana Fats and I, I guess I'll just go f three uh queen g six check from Mister Meal and that's a now th is this a tricky move with some ninety four ideas perhaps. So, uh, I, I, I'm going to try knight to g3. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think that this knight e4 move uh, uh, was 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 a, is a tough move for me to meet. So I'm going to try knight to g3. I'm not sure that I like the way this one went. Okay, queen takes a4 from moving Dutchman, and queen g5 check from ears, and I'm going to go king to b1. Bishop takes d4 against a4, h5, and I guess I take back with the knight, and I feel like I'm up a rook, but he's got a lot of pawns, but his king's in the way of his pawns, so we have to see. All right, now, moving Dutchman. Uh, I'm going to try queen to a8. See if I can get back there with the queen. Knight h5 from dvs, and um, I guess a rook takes b4. Three connected pass pawns looks pretty nice. Sergrich has gone a6. And and I think that Sergrich has put together a completely equal kind of position. Very good Carol can play. 
and I'm going to play. Well, I, I'm, I'm just sort of hanging around at this point. I'm just going to go king back to c2 and, and stay equal. Knight to d7 from Zebile. And so, so he snatched a pawn. And let's see, uh, do I want to go c5 or something like that? All right, I'm going to try c5. Ears is going for f4, uh, bishop f5. And I'm just going to get my king out of the way with king to a1. Uh, f5 from Indiana Fats. Uh, going for the, trying to take a pawn on g4. Uh, seems seems like a decent idea. I'm I'm I have to try and how do I try to keep him tied up enough here, not to do that. I can well I can't go bishop e6. I don't want to hang the b2 pawn. So uh, I'm I'm looking at king up to g3. He takes takes. Eh, you know I'm okay here, but it's not going to be a. I mean it's no winning chances for me. It may not be any winning chances for him either. So, all right, I'm, I'm going to look to see what's what's a tricky move. And do I have any tricky moves here? Rook to d1 doesn't do anything. Rook to e5, maybe. Uh, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to check rook to e5. See if that's, that does something. Okay, f6 from Stendhal. And... Uh, that, now, he's got these doubled H pawns that are still there. I'm going to try, do I want to take against Stendhal and just start to try to uh, uh, do something to him because of the pawns on the queen side? Um, G6, I, I don't know if that pawn on G6 even does anything. So I'm going to go queen to G2 and keep everybody and just keep the position. Pawn takes pawn against Zebile. Uh, let's see. Moving Dutchman's gone rook to c2, and now against moving Dutchman, I'm I'm counting to see if I could go queen h8 and and take snatch that h pawn somehow. Bishop takes g3 for Mr. Meal, and I think against Mr. Meal, uh, I've got some trouble here. Okay, I take on g3 and and e5 from eternal warrior so finally he was worried about my e5 so he went e5 and i think that i should be able to meet him with d5 uh knight takes e2 against um uh, 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 bishop takes e2 a4 h5 now uh, on queen takes e2 he goes knight g3 so i have to take back with the knight on e2 and it's a lot of pawns okay king to h1 against mr meal and now rook check against moving Dutchman, and I go king up. Um, rook to b5 from Indiana Fats. Looks like a good move. Uh, I was pinning him. And now, let's see. So he's still trying to win this pawn. And now do I want to trade the rooks, or where do I go here? So I'm looking. I think I'm going to try rook back to e2. Uh, Zebile's gone knight to e6. I'm going to trade on c6. And and now knight to f8 from moving Dutchman, defending his pawn. And I'm going to go queen f6 check. He's doing a nice job of hanging in there with these with this stuff. And now uh, against Sergrich, Sergrich has uh, has gone b5. And, uh, and, and now he's trying to do something to me. I guess so. So... I'm thinking that I need to put a knight on uh, on um, e4 here. So queen e2. Does b4 bother me? He's got he's he, he's uh, up to no good here. So a queen e2 maybe pawn takes pawn and then queen e2. And I don't know. I'm 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 just gonna go king back to d3. I gotta admit it's it's you know I mean he's uh, he's outplaying me a little bit here. Pawn takes c6 from Zebile, and and now what to do here? Um, I'm looking. Uh, I'm already down one pawn. I could be down two, but his pawns aren't real beauties, so maybe that can be okay for me. Uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna try bishop to c4 with the pen and see if I could do some kind of business on the file. All right, h. We have eight pawn to h4 from Stendhal and. And now I'm, I'm going to see, can I go rook to h1 and get rid of that pawn? All right, f5 from 
from from uh, A four H. I'm a little surprised about that. Feels a little loose. Now I, I'm looking. Um, I'm looking at sacrifices. Queen H six is the obvious thing to do. Okay, so I'm going to stick my queen on h6 first and then see if I could do something after. Zebar played king h8, which we figured would happen. <coughs> and now um, what's what uh, he, he's trying to do, uh, e4 maybe at the right moment or something. So I got to see what to do here. Uh, I, think, I think I'm going to try queen to a7. Okay, so moving Dutchman's going king to e8. And uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give him another check on c6. <coughs> okay, knight f5 from uh, Mr. Mio. I'm gonna go rook to f1, hang on for dear life there. Uh, we got bishop f5 from ears. I'm gonna go queen to d2. Uh, and now the eternal warrior position. I, I it's be, now it looks sort of like a Rui Lopez kind of thing. And I have to say, what do I like here? Uh, knight of five feels knight of five feels like it should be right. Okay, now against a four h five, I'm trying to set up some sacrifices. So if I set if I set up a sacrifice on g six, will that do anything? Looks like knight to f four. Um, pawn takes g four from Indiana Fats. And let's see. Uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm looking at rook to d one. Uh, a double, let's see if I double on the E file, if I double on, let's see if, if I go, if I go rook to, let's say I go rook to E4 and threaten to take that E pawn with check. What's the story with that? Uh, and then he doubles or something, or I can double on the D file also. And then that makes him go backwards. And I'm not sure what I'm trying, what, what's going to happen there. So I have a couple of things that look decent here. All right, I'm, I'm going to try rook to e4. Okay, now let's see what's happening against moving Dutchman. Uh, I gave him a lot of checks. His, he's still protecting his position. And I'm wondering when, when, when can I start going f4 and doing something? Or, I mean, is there any way for me to check him back and then see what to do? All right, I'm going to try f4. Queen g3 offering a trade from Stendhal. And I'm going to go queen d5 check. Uh, we got um, king f7 from a4 h5. Okay. And now I'm going to, I'm still trying to sacrifice here. And so knight to d5 to get rid of the protection of h7. Let's, let, let me, let me give that a try. Knight to d5. Okay. We got Stendhal has gone king h8. And, uh, and now this, these pawns, this H pawns bothering me a little bit here, and I don't want to open up his rook somehow. So G six, but G six is going to give him three connected pass pawns. So what to do here? Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, but then he might be trading rooks on E one sometimes. So I don't, eh. This one uh, messed it up a little bit also. Uh, any tricky stuff here? Queen d4, pawn takes pawn, and then queen d4, but then he, he's, he's got this h pawn is, uh, is, is, is bothering me. I feel like I should try to get rid of it, but how to do that? How, how, to, how to get rid of this h pawn? All right, I don't know. I'm going to just try g6. I'm not happy about it. Okay, what's happening here with Eternal Warrior? We got him to go Bishop F8, and uh, and I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go Knight to H2, Rui Lopez kind of stuff. Zebile has gone E4, and uh, and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go try Knight to D4. Uh, now uh, Rook C2 check for moving Dutchman, and I'm gonna come up from the side with King to H3, and. Knight b6 from Sergrich. And at what moment, if any, will f5 ever happen? I'm making sure that there's nothing doing. All right, I'm going to try f5 against Sergrich. And knight e6 from moving Dutchman. And and, and then I, I'm, I'm still always looking to see if I could somehow get to his h pawn, but he always has knight to f8. So, I mean, he's doing a real nice blocking job here, that's for sure. So, 
I'm going to go D6 check. G6 from Eternal Warrior. I'm going to go knight back to G3. Uh, rook H8 from A4, H5. And let's see uh, what to do here. How do I... Uh, I, I he has, f uh, well, really four connected pass pawns, not five. So he has four. And I'm thinking of maybe just taking on, on F6. And when he pushes his pawns, maybe his king gets open. All right, here we go again with moving Dutchman. I'm going to try to check him around a little bit. Never hurts. King G7 from, from ears. Okay. And uh, and what's happening here? All right, so ears. I'm going to try G3, and I don't know if this double pawn is worth anything. But... Uh, maybe it'll help me. Uh, I mean, I would like to get in, into ears position here. Knight B five is, is a curious one too. I, I don't know if Knight B five does anything. I think I'm going to try G three. Okay. Check against moving Dutchman. I'm going to check him on a seven. Queen e8 from Eternal Warrior. And now in the Rui Lopez positions, this is usually where f4 happens. Um, let me try it. I'm going to play it play like a Rui Lopez, f4. Knight takes d4. Bishop takes d4 against Zebile. Uh, queen takes h3. Check from uh, Mr. Meal. And now I got to see... Uh, I can't go knight h2, so I have to go king to g1. Uh, h3 against Zendal, and, and I'm going to see what... Uh, I'm thinking about queen to h3 to get rid of that, and then he gets these past pawns going. So, uh, let's see. All right, pawn takes pawn against Zendal, but uh, maybe I have to go queen. I'm going to try queen to d3 and see if I could get rid of those pawns there. Okay, queen check against moving Dutchman. And, uh, and, and, and now what do, what's going on here now? So I've checked him around. Uh, uh, he didn't go to E8, so I couldn't win his rook. So now what's the deal here to try and get, I'm going to go after his H pawn again. This is a real ordeal. Somehow I feel like somebody else would have won this a little bit easier. All right, let's trade Queens against Zebile. I think I'm down at, well, I'm down a pawn, but I don't think it's so bad. Okay, rook h uh, um, rook h five from Indiana Fats, and let's see, he's bothering me with these rooks now. So I don't know. Maybe uh, I might have been a little too optimistic about this thing. Maybe I should have just t taken on g four, left it there. So let's see. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take on uh, on g four. Uh, F five against Eternal Warrior seems like another Rui Lopez kind of thing to do. King e7 for moving Dutchman, and I'm looking about queen h8 again, and uh, and what does it do? I don't know. Maybe he goes knight f8 again, and we've seen this kind of position. Uh, against Zebal, I'm going to come up with my king. Uh, let's see. Pawn takes c4. Pawn takes c4 against Sir Grich. Uh, rook takes uh, check against Stendhal. Uh, Bishop G8 from Zebile. Okay, and now some things could be traded here, but I, I don't. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. I think I should be able to draw here. Do I want to trade the bishops and then trade the knight and get my king up and blockade? All right, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Tr I'm gonna try that first. I'm gonna take on F6. Okay, Rook H8 from ears. And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try against ears. I'm gonna try knight to e2. Okay, let's see what happened to Stendhal. Stendhal's gone. King g8, and now we now he, he these three pass pawns are, are kind of rough to look at. So I gotta see. Is there any way to slow them down? Uh, all right, I'm gonna take on g6. Uh, I'm looking at bishop c4, but then he goes e6. That forces me to take somewhere. And so G6 seems right. I feel like I was winning this, and now it just doesn't look right at all. Uh, Rook takes G4 check from Indiana Fats. And uh, and I I will trade. 
And let me uh, let me trade bishops against Zebel. And now king to king takes f6 from a4 h5 to keep his pawns intact. And uh, and now I'm going to go queen back to e3 and see if I could try to snatch some stuff. Knight to b6 from Eternal Warrior, and I'm going to go rook to f1. Bishop takes g4 from Indiana Fats. And uh, and what's what should I do here? I'm looking at if I. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go rook to e4 and see if I can run around with my rook a little bit here. To f3, Zebile. Uh Bishop g4 from ears, and now against ears, I'm looking. Knight takes f4. Looks very nice for me. Is that right? Hold on. Knight takes first. Huh. The rook is behind it, so can I trade? Let, let, let me uh, uh, let me trade rooks first on h8. Uh, d5 from Zendal. Here come his pawns, and uh, and there's a lot of them. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go bishop to b5. Queen d7 check from Surgrich, uh, and that's winning a pawn. But I maybe I can control the d5 square and bother him. King to c2. Uh, let's see what to do here against Eternal Warrior. Um, Bishop to G5 somehow seems like it might be the right thing to do to pile up on the F6 knight. So let's do Bishop to G5. Uh, knight, uh, Queen G3 check against Mr. Meal. I'll go back to H1. Uh, now, Knight takes F4 against ears. Can I do it? And I'm going to do it and see what happens there. Bishop f3 from Indiana Fats. And uh, and I will go rook to a4. Uh, Zabal, I'll go king to f4 and push those pawns up. Maybe try to break them up later. All right, now against Zendal, he's got three of them. So I go a4. I have to get my people going. And against Zebile, uh g4 to break them up seems like the right thing to do. Pawn takes, king takes. Uh, looks like I can draw. E5 from um, Zendo. Here come the three connected pass pawns. And I'm going to try to get my guy go. I'm going to make a pass pawn and hope maybe even two, I'm hoping. A5 from Indiana Fats. And, uh, and, and so the structure is very solid. And I'm going to go rook to F4. Uh, captures on F5 from Sergrich. And I will go queen to f3. And he's taking my pawns. Okay, here comes uh, a takes b4 from Zendal. And, and I'm going to push my a pawn up and see if that pawn may annoy him. Okay, now against Zebile, I guess I go uh, king f4. What's the story here? Is, this, is, is it just a draw or, or do I have to be careful in king and pawn endings? Is what I'm wondering about. King f4, e3 takes takes. I think I sh it should king of pawn ending should probably be a draw. Check from Zebile, and I don't think I'm trying to win. I I mean I suppose I could go king e5. Maybe it's maybe it's even the best move. But I'm you know I think a draw is probably just the right result here. H5 against. Um, against a4 h5 and i'm going to snatch a pawn on h a7 because it's there i had these dragon types of games like this with leon and shabkovich years ago okay i cannot trade uh, uh, against indiana fats on f5 and give him two connected pass pawns this is for certain so it looks like rook to h4 i'll do uh let's see we got we got um Moving Dutchman playing Knight F8 again. And uh, and now, I, I don't know, is there any chance for me ever to go something like E6? Um, that's that's the question here. E6 or, or maybe, okay, if I go E6, he's got to take it with a pawn. And then I get some check in. I, I, I don't know. All right, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try E6. Uh, we got internal warrior to go knight fd7, but 
now am I going, is F6 going to annoy him at all? Um, what's the deal with trying to get a, you know, some kind of mate things going here? Or do I just want to go knight to G4? Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go knight to g4 and get some more people in, and I, I, and, and I, I don't know what's what, what uh, Mr. Meal is, is 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 if we did a three time repetition, the computer says no, so I will go back, and and uh, queen c8 against a4 h5, and I will go queen d4 check, and. Move in Dutchman, I shall go queen to G7 check. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ears has gotten his queen out of the way, but uh, but what am I? did I win a pawn? So now I'll move my rook to E1. Uh, rook, rook takes rook to uh, D3 from Zebile, and now uh, I guess uh, I, I'll go rook takes E4. And what's my next deal here against moving Dutchman? Can I can I mosey on, can I try to mosey on in there with my king? Is that what I'm supposed to do? All right, let me try let me try king to g4. Um, king f7 against a4 h5, and I guess uh, let's see how will he push his pawns here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna see if I can get people going on the other side with a4. Okay, Stendhal did did uh, stopped my pawn, and I'm gonna go a6 and queen g4 check from uh, from Mr. Meal, and I guess I'm gonna go king to g3 again, king h1 again, king d6 against Zebile, uh, or a queen trade offer from. From a4, h5, unfortunately, I think he's got a rook down there that the queen was protecting. Rook h5 from Indiana Fats. I'm going to go rook back to f4. Uh, c4 from uh, from moving Dutchman. And uh, and I'm going to go queen c7 and, and, and put, put my queen behind his pawn. Rook d3 check from Zembile, and I shall go king takes. Rook h4 against Indiana Fats again. Like I said, I can't trade there. Here comes Zendel's pawns. Uh, well, he, he he gave me bishop c6 maybe to take two of them and break them up a little bit. So I think I have to think about that. And then maybe that's okay for me all of a sudden. So I, I'm going to go bishop c6 and take two pawns there. And I'm going to go king to h2 against Mr. Meal. Okay, moving Dutchman is 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 uh, is taking that pawn on h6 now. So here's the deal. Here, can I go? If I go king to king to g5, rook check, king f6, rook h5, king g7. Hmm. Now, is, is what's going on in there? <laughs> it's a good question. So and and if I if I don't do that, I can take the I can take a pawn on c6 and then try and get the queen in there. But well, I mean, I I I feel like there should be some way to discombobulate him here and win this game. But it's still still not so uh, not so easy. Okay, so king to g5 is is what I'm thinking of doing. All right, let me let me do king to g5. Uh. Ears has gone B6, and let's see. So I'm, I'm up a pawn against Ears, but position's fairly solid. All right, I'm going to go A3 and give myself some air. <coughs> Bishop takes D5 check against Stendhal. Uh, let's see. Zebulon, he has that H pawn, and I assume that, with this, I, uh, that his H pawn is just going to make the draw in this game. I don't know if there's anything to put my rook behind his pawn with some kind of trades. <coughs> So if I go king to b5 or something like that, I mean he he can go rook check and then his king gets there. So I think I just go king to uh, king to c7. Uh, knight takes f1, queen takes f1 from Mr. Meal. Uh, rook d8 from ears, queen e3. Maybe I'm offering queen trades sometimes. 
Rook H5, Rook H4. Looks like Indiana fans were repeating a little bit. Uh, Rook D5 looks like C7, C6 against Zebile. H5 against Zebile. Yep, that should be right. I go king to C8. And against Indiana fans, I guess uh, we could agree to a draw. Knight takes C4 against against uh, Sir Grich. And, uh, and I'm going to go knight to d5 check. I, this one I really turned uh, did a butcher job on. Uh, now, am, am, uh, can I go in with the king and threaten mate? Rook f5 check. Let's see what I'm doing here. Okay, knight to e6 from Zendo. <coughs> and, uh, and now I guess I go bishop. I, I guess I could go bishop takes e4. Um. Queen D6 from ears. I'm going to go Queen C3 check, see where he goes. <coughs> Rook F1 from Mr. Meal. And, and I'm going to offer Mr. I'm going to offer a queen trade on, on G2. Uh, okay. Ears has block with the queen, which, which gives, allows me to trade the queens. Um, how do I want to trade the queens? Do I want to trade the queens? Rook e7 to go. Now, how my pawns look on that? All right, I'm going to try rook to e7. Zebile has gone rook c5. I push my pawn. And I just wondered, and, and uh, Sergrich has just gone, uh, queen takes d5, and he forks me, and that's it. So good game from Sergrich. And, and knight to g5 from Stendhal. And I guess, <clears throat> let's see. So bishop to d5 check makes the most sense. King to G7 against moving Dutchman. And G5, so Indiana fans has to, uh, changed his mind, and it might have been a draw by repetition in there somewhere. But, okay, so so he has this G pawn to bother me with. I'm going to go, let's see, where, where, where do I go with my rook here? I'm going to go rook to H6. Queen F5 check from Mr. Meal, and... <coughs> And I'm gonna go. Let's let's see what the story is here. Is he winning? Um, is is he gonna just win my knight and be up some pawns? Is a question. So uh, all right, I'm gonna block with queen g3, knight g5, and I'm I have to go after Stenhall's b pawn. Uh, let me go rook to b4. Okay, ears has gone a5 and trade the queens and go rook to d6. Is that right? Or just go rook? Now, I don't know if these double pawns help me or hurt me in this kind of case. <coughs> All right, I'm going to go rook to e5 and keep the queens on now. Zebio has gone rook to b5 and I go king to d7. Uh, G5 against moving Dutchman. And uh, and let's see. So uh, now I have, if I go queen takes C4, he's got these checks and whatnot. And let's see what else is there to do here. Uh, queen, rook, rook check, king G8. All right, I'm, I'm going to go queen takes C4. Ears has gone rook to D6. And... Um, now, how do I, I'm trying to reorganize my pieces against ears. I'm going to go queen to e3. Rook to b6 from uh, Stendhal, and I'm going to go king to a2. <coughs> Rook f6 from Indiana Fats, offering a trade of rooks. Uh, same as before, I cannot take that trade of rooks. So I'm going to go rook h8. <coughs> um, moving Dutchman has taken on f4. I have, I'll have i take back on f4 back. I think it's probably he's just managed to defend pretty well here, and it's just a draw. Okay, now now again, again Zebal. Can I try against Zebal rook to e5 and make a queen? And then win, and, win the game in like a thousand moves or something. Or, or, I mean, maybe I just make a queen here and run my king back. <coughs> I feel like somehow this should be a, uh, a win now. 
So uh, rook to e5, and then and then on rook e5, can he go rook c7? So queen, and then he comes up with his king and his pawn. All right, I'm going to try to make a queen and see how this goes. King g6 from Stendhal. I'll go king b3. Bishop d1 from Ears. And uh, and what's what's ears trying to do to me here? <coughs> uh, is is he trying to get some kind of thing going with with the beat with maybe putting his bishop on b three or something? I don't know if the, is that a good idea for him though. Uh, rook to e seven does it do something? Rook to e five I don't know. Pawn to b3, uh, well, pawn to b3, pinning myself. No, he didn't. then he just goes bishop takes b3, so that's not good. Um, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to try, I'm going to try rook to e7 again. Okay, check from moving Dutchman, and I got to go king g8. King takes c8 against Zebile. Uh, king d7 against Indiana Fats. Uh, let's see. Um, if I go rook to g8, what happens there? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm after this. I'm trying to go after this pawn. All right, rook to g8. Let's give it a try. Queen to b4 from Mr. Meal, and I'm just gonna. Tr I'm gonna try this mate threat rook to g1 just to get some pieces over there for defense. Okay, bishop to a4 against ears. <coughs> And uh, and I was looking against ears if there was anything with ninety six. I, I I don't think so. So uh, let let me, let me go. Let me try rook to b seven. Uh, and now against uh, against uh, moving Dutchman, is it just a draw? Just a draw, maybe. All right, I'm going to check him on c eight and see where he goes. Uh, again, Zebo, I'm come, gonna come back with my king. King e7 against moving Dutchman. Are there any Zugzwangs here or anything? I think maybe I just gotta take a draw. Queen, let's go queen c5 check. Zebo, coming back with, with, with my king against Zebo. Bishop d1 against ears. Now, Here's the question: Did ears overlook knight e6? And does knight e6 do anything for me? I think it does. So knight e6 looks nice. <coughs> uh, Zebal uh, pushing his pawn, and uh, and let's see. Uh, I'm coming back with I'm coming back with my king. Zebal's pushing his pawn. <coughs> And now I, I I don't I don't see what to do against moving Dutchman, so I think I'm just going to perpetual and, and make a draw. Okay, Queen F4, Mister Meal pin me, and uh, and I will go Queen takes F4. I'm just glad to be alive in this game. Uh, let's see, Zebile has gone pawn to H3, and uh, and let's see now he's boxing my king out, so I feel like he's is it still a draw? So rook back to e1. I didn't see any way I could have done something different. <coughs> Uh-oh. Ears. I don't know ears. Rook takes f7 might do it, huh? Rook to d... Uh, let's see. So we got Stendhal's gone. Rook to d6. And I guess I just go... Uh, bishop to c4 looks okay. And, uh, he doesn't have any... Does he have any knight f3s or anything like that? <coughs> Okay, bishop bishop to c4 looks okay. Uh, Mr. Meal rook takes uh, f4, and uh, and I'm gonna go. Hmm, I'm gonna go king to g3, I guess. Uh, now g4 against Indiana Fats, and I'm gonna go king to h2. Zebile's coming up with his king. I don't. I don't see any way to to do anything for to him here. I saw Ray Robson once against losing the back row in some kind of situation, but even in that game, Ray Robson had a draw. All right, now hold on here. What did the moving Dutchman do? Can he he he, he instead of taking the draw, he went queen to king there, and now I'm wondering if I could go queen takes f8, <coughs> king takes f8. 
So I'm going to try queen takes f8. Zeb Wiles gone, uh, gone um, with his king. I'm going to try rook to g1. Rook a4 from Mr. Meal. <coughs> He's after that pawn. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go rook c1 and go after that pawn. He's got a lot of pawns, but so far they're not anywhere. Okay, Zebile has gone rook there, and I think it's just a draw. I'm just gonna go rook here and and just go rook takes h3, and 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 that's about it. So a, a very solid game for both sides, and uh, and and. And, uh, I, I, you know, I mean, the opening, I, I think even when I was losing my pawns, I, I have to say that I, I thought the position was, uh, was, uh, you know, pretty decent for both, both sides. <coughs> and, uh, let me see what kind of games are still running around here. A4, H5, I think, uh, he, well, he hung his rook. It, it, I, I think probably, probably, you know, his position might be, it might be lost really. There, because you, you push your pawns in front of your king, and then the rooks get active. And also, I, when he wasn't looking, I managed to snatch a pawn. So it's 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 some some kind of interesting stuff. Okay, now what's happening here? Indian offense is after my c2 pawn now. So what's the story with this now? I have to keep an eye on those pawns too. So I'm going to try. Uh, he he wants to snatch the pawns. So I'm going to try king to. Um, G2. Okay, rook to A3, pinning me against Mr. Meal, and I'm going to go king to F2. <coughs> Somehow Mr. Meal could have uh, felt like he could have done something to me in there with the knight and the queen. You know, more, more than this, because I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if this is a draw, but certainly I got chances to make a draw here. Rook C6 ideas against Mr. Meal, and let's see. So, uh, let's see. Rook, uh, and and uh, Rook to Rook Rook um, over for uh, Indiana fans. And now we got to see what's the story here. Uh, he he is trying to go uh, Bishop takes C2 and some kind of Rook D2 business. So I have to see what's uh, um, what's the best way for me to deal with this. Uh, going after his A pawn, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go king to g3 first, and see how he wants to approach this. Okay, moving Dutchman. Uh, I'm gonna go king. I, uh, now maybe this is the h pawn thing where he just boxes me out or something. Uh, let me see. Should I go king to f7? Okay, I'm gonna go king to f7 first and box him out. See if I can box him out. Rook d2 from Stendhal. <coughs> And I would like to take his pawn, but I I don't I don't want to I don't want to give up the b2 pawn for it though. I mean it would still be a draw, but probably would go on forever. So I'm going to try rook to h8, uh, rook to d2 from Indiana Fats, and uh, and now I'm going to see what uh, what to do here. I'm thinking of keeping my b pawn defended, uh, so that when he takes, I could take on g4, and Maybe that's something. I, I just want to make sure he doesn't have too many pass pawns. So I'm going to try rook to b8. e5 from moving Dutchman. And <clears throat> let's see what's happening here now. Takes, takes. King g7, king e6. That's just a draw. So if I'm trying to win here, I have to try f5. I queen with check. <laughs> it's probably a draw. Okay, f5. Uh, let's see what uh, Stendhal's pushing with f5, and I'm going to go rook to g8 check. Uh, okay, now we have Mr. Meals going rook a2, and I feel like uh, I should be trying to win the C d6 pawn, so I'm going to go rook c6, f7 against moving Dutchman. Uh, okay, now <coughs> what to do against Stendhal? I could check him a lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go rook to b4 and take that pawn with the rook and then keep everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go king king to g7. E4 against Mr. Meal. I'm gonna go knight to d4. And 
I have one pawn left to bother him with. <coughs> Who knows what the heck this is. Okay, so we're both queening. And I think moving Dutchman, it's just a draw. Okay, knight takes, bishop takes e2, knight takes e2, Mr. Meal. Uh, I queen with check against moving Dutchman. Then moving Dutchman goes queen e7, and then we have our draw. Okay, rook takes b4 against Stendhal. Uh, rook takes d6 against Mr. Meal. Uh, and here comes uh, uh, Stendhal's pawn, but my bishop is, is behind it also, so I think that this is all right. I'm going to go rook back way down to b8. Uh, we got a king. Uh, we have uh, Indiana Fats has now gone king to c7. And let's see. So now <clears throat> uh, I'm wondering how to do this. Rook, rook to a8. All right, I'm going to go rook to a8. Here come pawns from Mr. Meal. <coughs> uh, I'm going to go king to e3 against Mr. Meal. I'm going to try to keep my d pawn because maybe that's going to bother him. All right, now let's see what to do here. Stenhall, I'm going to go rook behind it with rook f8. And let's see what to do here against Mr. Meal. Uh, should I go rook behind the pawn? All right, I'm, I'm going to go rook behind the pawn and then see if I can get some counterplay with my pawn. And he's got these other pawns, but I, I, I think it probably should, should just be a draw here. All right, I'm going to go king takes e4. Bishop takes c2 from Indiana Fats. Okay. I have to go bishop takes c2. Uh, let's see what to do here against Mr. Meal. He's gone pawn to a2. And let's see. If I go pawn to d6, he gets those pawns. So I think pawn to d6 should maybe be the right move. Or should I cut his king off first? I'm going to cut his king off first with rook a7. Okay, rook takes c2 from Indiana Fats. I have to try rook takes a5. Uh, <clears throat> Stendhal has gone knight to e4. <coughs> and uh, and now, let's see. I need to get my bishop somewhere nice. Where Where is nice? Uh, bishop to b5, maybe. And it's good to have keep be keeping an eye on both those pawns there. I could check them a lot, but I don't know what that does. So it feels like bishop to b5 should be right. Uh, king takes g4 with Indiana Fats. Got to get rid of that pawn. Queen check from moving Dutchman. And we played it till the bitter end, and it should just be a draw. Okay. So now against Mr. Meal, I'm going to push with d6, and he has to get rid of that. And it looks like moving Dutchman. Uh, I, I don't know. I thought when I had the queen against the rook that it should have been easier, but it was a good uh, blockading thing there. Okay, Indiana Fats has cut my king off. <coughs> and uh, and probably now I, 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 I assume I could should just be lost here. Um, I can bother him with the A-pawn, but I doubt it. Okay, I'm just going to try the A-pawn. Uh, what's going on with Stendhal? Knight C5 check. <coughs> And I should go king to c3, and draws are coming all over the place. Uh, let's see, any point in Mr. Meal keeping this pawn for one more move? Uh, or or should I just take it? Um, keep it one more move. He goes rook d7, I, tell you, I don't see any point. I should just take the pawn. Knight check. I'm going to go king to b3 again against Stendhal. And we're going to get a stalemate with moving Dutchman. So uh, good games. And now let's see against Mr. Meal. I'm going to go knight to f4. And I think Indiana Fats, <coughs> uh, I think he's, I'm going to try to distract him, but I think he's got two pawns and my king's cut. So I, I think it should be a win for him.
Okay, yep, E5 from MD and Fat seems correct. I go A5. I don't see what I could do here. Uh, H, uh, let's see, H4 from uh, Mr. Meal, and I will go king, I will get my king closer. It looks like king to F5 should be the right way to do that. <coughs> E4 from Indiana Fat seems right. And let's see, is there any way for me to to keep his king? You see, I, I got to do two things. I got to win a pawn, and I got to somehow get his king, his rook away from me. So I'm going to try rook check, but uh, rook E8, but I think it's probably just lost. Okay, king G3 from Stendhal, and I'm just going to check him some. I don't think that affects anything. Rook B6 against Mr. Meal, and I'm just going to go king to G4. And I'm going to, let's see, uh, against Stendhal, I can keep on checking. I'm going to check him again as long as the rook's behind it. It should be okay. Okay, and I'm going to try to get my, I'm going to get see if I can get my pawn going just to, just to be doing something. And let's see, we got a rook h5 from Mr. Mio, and I'm just going to take on h4. He's going to go check, and that should turn into the draw. King d5 from Indiana Fats. Uh, and, uh, and I'm going to go, uh, let's see, I, I, if I push the pawn, um, <clears throat> what's the story there? I, I'm, I'm going to try pushing the pawn. I need to distract his king. Uh, okay. Again, Stendhal, I have everybody in his brothers guarding F2. So I'm going to go pawn to B4 and see if I could get my guy going. And Indiana Fats has gone rook to f7 to stop my pawn. I'm going to try rook to a8. King takes f4 and, and draw against Mr. Neal. Very tough game. I feel like Mr. Neal must have had a win there somewhere. So a uh, uh, tough game. Let's see Indiana Fats. Indiana Fats, I missed there's some opportunities in this game also. All right, now uh, Stendhal's put his rook behind the pawn. <clears throat> And um, and I'm looking to uh, to push my bishop somewhere. Put my bishop somewhere. Uh, I guess I'll just go uh, bishop to c4. Looks okay. <clears throat> King D4 from Indiana Fats, uh huh. And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go A7. And I'm gonna see. I don't know. I don't think I can bother him enough to make a draw here. Maybe there could be some position where his king gets messed up and it can't pop out. But I don't. Uh, I don't think so. All right, Knight to D. Knight to D6 from Stendhal. And um, let's see. Uh, so. Hold on here. Did I, something might have happened here. Um, now, what do I, did, I didn't pay attention here. So I think Stendhal might have tricked me. I don't know where, I don't know where my bishop goes. So if I, I, I managed to set up a perfect deal for him to win here. Uh, so I, 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 I have no way to guard the, the, uh, the square here. So I have to, I think I have to resign. So uh, a lot of missed uh, opportunities in this simul today. Okay, now I think Indiana Fats is just going to push his pawns, so I think that one is done. And let's see what is left. So it doesn't feel like the score was was too good today, but um, it 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 felt like you know some solid games. But I'd say now ears ears was what you know was playing solidly, but I, I'm not sure Zergrich, Eternal Warrior. I don't know why he resigned. It was a little too early to resign there. Um, Dvios just got into trouble early in the opening, no development in the Sicilian Kanishka, same sort of situation. Uh, Brian Wood, a very complicated, um, uh, Shevenigan. and, uh, and Christos, 
I'm not really sure what, um, oh, I think I lost that one. That was terrible too. So I kind of didn't pay attention. Conrad, uh, Salazar, very solid draw. And, and a Joe, a Joe T was another one with a problem in the opening as was hippopotamus. Pearl hacker just got really way behind in development and lost on move 13 to a discovery virtuoso that E5 move against the um, uh, time and off has always been interesting. Jay Russell didn't pay attention. And uh, thank you, Jay Russell, always playing. And Hen Henrik Olsen, I, I don't know. He resigned because he went night takes, D, D takes five. I go night takes F6 and take on A8. And, uh, and Bishop E6 was an accurate move. So good simul. Let's see what the final score was. The final score was four losses, four draws, and 12 wins. Eh, I don't know. And, and, and of the four losses, there were a few of them that should not have happened. But that's okay. All right, everybody. So I hope everybody had a good time. Thanks for uh, playing, everybody. And, uh, and I'll see you guys in March. Um, and enjoy the candidates match. Starts, I think, I saw March 10th. So that's in about two weeks. So uh, double round robin. I'm rooting for the Americans. But I think really Aronian and, um, and, and Kramnik might provide the best match. So thanks a lot, guys. Take care. See you next month. Take care. Bye.